Ho ho ho, we got another juicy one for you today, boys and girls. <laughs> so as you know, I, li I live in Japan, and every once in a while I go home to visit my family in America. Which I'm actually about to do pretty soon here in April. Going to go visit them, and uh, how am I going to get there? I'm going to take a plane, obviously, right? Well, now I'm kind of scared. I'm actually kind of scared to get on a plane nowadays. You know, with all the, uh, you know, Boeing stuff, Boeing conspiracy going around. The Apparently, the, the whistleblower for Boeing was, uh, you know, assassinated. Uh, is that, um, you know, rumor that's going around? And um, yeah, and, and then I just saw like recently the Bo one of the Boeing 737 uh, like engines like started to blow up during uh, takeoff, which was insane. And uh, now today we're faced with another crazy incident, but not uh, not about Boeing actually. <laughs> it's about Spirit Airlines. Now I've actually never uh, flown Spirit Airlines before, before, so I can't you know attest to how great or how bad their service is. But one thing's for sure is in my upcoming flight, I do not want this to happen to me. Spirit Airlines passenger arrested in Las Vegas for cussing and growling at passengers. A Santa Monica woman was arrested for cursing and growling at other passengers and flight crew on board Spirit Airlines flight in Las Vegas. Now you're probably asking, uh, what's this lady look like? Well, as you could have seen in the thumbnail, she looks kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, this is what she looks like here. Yeah, that that mug shot doesn't look too good to be honest. She looks kind of she looks like she's like planning something. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, dude, this is insane. Like check out her face in here. Look, she looks insane. Okay. <laughs> A Santa Monica woman who went viral in a bizarre meltdown as she was escorted off a plane last month and arrested for allegedly snapping her teeth and growling at fellow passengers. Yeah, I don't want this to happen to me when I go to back to America or coming back from America to Japan where I'm just on the plane for 14 hours with a crazy person that goes like or like or like whatever, whatever that, you know, I don't want any of that to happen to me during my 14 fucking hour flight plane that's super long. Luckily, she was taken into custody um, over her erratic behavior, and uh, you know, police officers arrived at the terminal at the airport shortly after 1 a.m. Wow, this was like really early in the morning, late at night, whichever term you prefer. And uh, you know, after the flight crew and gate supervisors requested Dillard is the name, the removal from the plane. Now, I just want to play you. Uh, this is a uh, this has become a viral TikTok recently, so I wanted to play you this TikTok. So yeah, take a look at this. It's insane. Yeah, that's not the kind of face I want to see when I start my flight, you know, to America. Who's hurting my wrist? You're hurting me, Sheriff! You're hurting me, Sheriff! Ah! 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 This is George Floyd! What? Get off the plane! Get off. Yeah, so that was a, a shit storm, <laughs> to say the least. But yeah, th she's like, uh, I, apparently she wasn't on any substances, which is surprising because of her erratic behavior. She was just being a drama queen, I guess. But yeah, they were all just like, get off the plane, get off the plane. And then uh, in the end, the 
you know, the poor passengers, all of them had to get off, not her, because she refused to get off the plane, which was insane. What an inconvenience. That's terrible. <laughs> yeah, that's not, uh, yeah, that, that's really uh, overdramatic, in my opinion. <laughs> Another news source said, a Metro officer said Dillard allegedly attempted to bite him during the encounter by making a biting motion towards him, documents said. The crew had to remove the majority of the plane's passengers to then physically escort Dylan, uh, uh, Dillard off the plane, documents said. And Dillard faces a charge of violating airport rules. She was released from custody after her booking and was due to return on court on May 29th. So let me just uh, play you another clip from the from the official news, like a news recap or like how the news covered it. So I want to just show you this clip as well. And also new tonight, growling and snapping her teeth. That's what police say a woman did on a Spirit Airlines flight before they arrested her. This is a look at Lanika Dillard. Documents obtained by the 8 News Now investigators reveal Metro had to get everyone off the plane at Harry Reid International and physically escort Dillard out. She faces the charge of violating airport rules. She's out of jail, but due back in court on May 29th. So like we just read there, um, you know, she was released from jail, but she's due back in court on May 29th. And as of filming this video, it's April 17th, so it's not we're not there yet. Um, so I'm curious to see what uh, her sentencing would be, to be honest. And um, yeah, that was pretty erratic behavior. You should never do that on a flight. Don't ever do that. Please don't do that when I go to America. Please do not cause that uh, for me. Thank you. Yes. So after digging a little deeper on the great uh, World Wide Web we call the internet, I found that uh, apparently she was, you know, just being really disruptive on the plane, just being a, a shit passenger. <laughs> so and then when, you know, people started to complain, they called the police and then she just wouldn't, you know, get up. She was being a little, she was being a Karen. <laughs> and uh, yeah, she just had a, a meltdown like a toddler, like a fucking toddler. <laughs> So, um, yeah, just, I, I don't, I don't believe, I don't know how these people can exist. Please, somebody, somebody tell me, how, how can these kind of people exist in this world? I don't know how. It's, it's so interesting to me. <laughs> anyway, I just want to show you this because it was really ridiculous and I thought it was crazy. This also came in my news feed and now I saw it on Reddit. It was everywhere. Anyway, the TikTok has got like, it's got like 2,346 likes. And like a lot, it's got like millions of views already probably and it's insane. Anyway, guys, there is a serious question that I need to ask you and I need you to answer honestly. What is a burrito and a taco? Are burritos and tacos sandwiches? Or is a taco a taco and a burrito is a burrito? Let me know in the comments below. But the reason why I bring this up is because recently I found an article saying that a judge in Indiana claims that tacos and burritos are in fact sandwiches. Not only that, they are Mexican sandwiches, apparently. <laughs> You're gonna want to check this one out. You're not gonna want to miss this. It's crazy, dude. So, okay. <laughs> Indiana, Indiana judge rules tacos and burritos are in fact sandwiches. The ruling stemmed from a legal battle between a developer with plans to open a Mexican restaurant in a, and a local zoning commission. So you might be asking like, what the heck brought this judge to think that, you know, that tacos and burritos are, are sandwiches? Cause they are obviously not. How can you say that this is the same thing as this? Obviously they're completely different. <laughs> How can you say that the burrito is the same thing as a fucking sandwich? No, burrito is a burrito, taco is a taco, and a sandwich is a fucking sandwich. They are three separate, completely different things. Are tacos and burrito sandwiches a judge in Indiana thinks so? The ruling stems from a legal battle that started in 2022. So it's been going on for two years, the legal battle. What the? <laughs> and the, when Martin Quintana, I don't know how to spell it. I don't know how to pronounce that. A developer unveiled plans to open his restaurant, the famous Taco Mexican Grill. That sounds pretty good. I, I would go there. That sounds really good, guys. On a strip mall in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Okay, so he's just he's just a guy. He just wants to open a taco shop with burritos and tacos, a Mexican style grill. You know, that sounds really good. I'd love to have, I'd love to try that. I like that kind of food. I would, I mean, I love Chipotle and that kind of stuff too. So the Allen County Planning Commission rejected his bid to open the eatery, citing a written commitment that Quintana had accepted. Okay, so apparently he accepted a written commitment, which 
legally, te technically legally binds him to, you know, follow that commitment, obviously. According to the agreement with a local condo association. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's a condominium uh, trying to make money. Here we go. Only <laughs> only alcohol free restaurants. OK, that's fine. That that did not allow outdoor seating. OK, so I can understand alcohol free restaurants and do not and no outdoor seating. But they, they say only sold made-to-order or Subway-style sandwiches were allowed to open at the location. So you're telling me that <laughs> in order to open a restaurant in this condominium, this condo area, you have to sell you have to sell Subway-style sandwiches? That just doesn't make any sense. Well, <laughs> I don't understand the logic. Well, I mean, is it is it a, is it gonna like blow up? Is it gonna destroy? the the complex by making a fucking taco on the grill or grilling a burrito or whatever is that is that gonna ruin the condominium or something how is that gonna how is that gonna affect anything i don't understand the agreement was put in place to keep some national f fast food chains from opening at the strip mall according to court documents obtained by nbc affiliate so i can kind of understand that because like uh if you have like a complex and and a bunch of restaurants around this complex and then you have say let's say mcdonald's just come in mcdonald's is super fucking popular so obviously everybody's gonna flock to mcdonald's and nobody's gonna go to any other restaurant because mcdonald's is cheap and it's fast and it tastes good so i can understand that man i can't believe this though after two years of legal battles the judge craig Bobe, bobby Bobe, from allen county superior court ruled that quintana's original plans would be permissible based on the original commitment. So basically he's he's getting the okay to do it. But the only way that he could get the okay to open the restaurant is that if they admitted that the tacos and burritos were sandwiches. In his opinion, the judge here ruled that famous taco restaurant is permissible under the terms of the original written commitment and agreeing with Quintana that tacos and burritos are Mexican style sandwiches. And the and the original a written commitment does not restrict potential restaurants to only American cuisine style sandwiches. So they can appeal the ruling with this. I just can't understand like how how like this stupid ass case would take two years. It takes fucking two years to decide if a taco and a burrito are as a sandwich. And they obviously they ended up like, oh, okay, we gotta we gotta do the fine print thing. We're like, oh, we gotta you can open up the restaurant that if you admit that <laughs> tacos and burritos are Mexican style sandwiches. Okay, guys, I guess this is a fucking sandwich. This is also a fucking sandwich. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? Jesus Christ, dude! You can't just claim that a taco and a burrito are a, a sandwich because a taco is is basically usually made out of corn tortilla or flour tortilla in same and a burrito is made with flour tortilla and that is not what a sandwich is made out of a sandwich is made out of bread white bread wheat bread whatever the fuck bread it's not made out of a tortilla it's not made out of anything like that okay a sandwich is a sandwich a burrito is a burrito and a taco is a taco fight me if you're going to Chipotle, you're not going to, like, if you're going to Chipotle, for example, you're not going to Chipotle to order a fucking sandwich. <laughs> you're going to Chipotle to order a fucking burrito or a taco or a quesadilla or whatever the heck. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Speaking of that, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to say that a quesadilla was a sandwich. <laughs> that would just be outrageous, okay? That's like, okay, that's just getting rid of the whole purpose of Taco Bell. Like, Taco Bell is just sandwich bell. There's no, there's no, uh... There's no difference there. It's just, it's a sandwich restaurant. It's no longer Taco Bell. Which just, it's, it's just ridiculous. And it just blows my mind that this would take two years to figure out. It's like, dude, just let the guy run the restaurant. What the hell is wrong with the condominium though? I don't understand. Like, what is wrong with the condominium where they, what is going on in their, their idiotic brain of theirs with very, whatever the few brain cells they have left? That they were like, oh, we can't, I mean, we can't have you put a restaurant in our complex unless you, sa unless you make Subway style sandwiches. What? If you want Subway style sandwiches, just get a fucking Subway, okay? This is why these types of restaurants exist. A Subway is for Subway style sandwiches. Chipotle is for tacos, burritos, quesadillas. Taco Bell is for tacos, burritos, whatever. Don't even get me started with, with Burger King, McDonald's, Wendy's, because a burger is not a sandwich. A burger is a burger. 
fight me. A burger is a burger, not a sandwich. A sandwich is a sandwich is like a club sandwich, like or like a tuna melt. Okay, it has bread, it has lettuce, tomato, onion, whatever, meat, cheese, mayo, mustard, ketchup. I don't know, whatever you like. Also, a hot dog is a hot dog. A hot dog is not a sandwich. Okay, we have these separations for a reason, guys. A hot dog has to be a hot dog or else it's not a hot dog a sandwich is a sandwich that's all there is to it it's just not it's not negotiable the indiana judge rules that tacos and burritos are in fact sandwiches it's just a fucking idiot <laughs> why would you be wasting the resources of the law to do this instead of like catch like like an actual bag or like to do like actual bad guys you know like <laughs> what the it doesn't make sense, man. Like, just let the guy have the, just let the guy have his restaurant. I mean, obviously, in the end, they they let him have the the restaurant, but it was just such a hassle for the guy. I mean, imagine you're just trying to open up the restaurant. It takes fucking two years because you can't you can't have the the people say that uh, a uh, a taco is not a sandwich. It has to be a sandwich. <laughs> I mean, in that case, I would, if I was the guy, I would have just conceded and say, yep, a taco and a burrito are sandwiches. I would have just said it off the bat just to get, you know, just to get, get them off my back, you know? Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this, uh, it just came up in my feed and I just saw, I saw the title and I was like, whoa, this is, this is, we got to click on this. Guys, you have to check this out. You're, you're not going to believe this. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw this come into my feed on my, uh, email. This is just crazy. Also, I got a new light. Check this out. All right, look, it's off. Look, off, and, oh, wait, I forgot the button, hold on. Oh, yes, new light, all right. <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous, and yes, you're not wrong for clicking on this video with that thumbnail, thumbnail and title. This will not disappoint you. <laughs> Now, to be honest, I can't tell if this is like a bot, uh, if this is a, a troll or not, and I really hope it is a troll, to be honest. Anyway, my son has a YouTube channel with 12 million subscribers. How do I tell him that it's not a viable career option and shut down the account while not being despised? <laughs> oh my God, you are, you are crazy. Do you know what 12 million subscribers means? Dude, I, I don't even have 1,000 subscribers yet, and I would kill to have 1,000 subscribers, and your son has 12 million subscribers! Now, I don't know if this is a troll or not. I actually pray to God that this is a troll, because if this is not a troll, this person is deranged and, and crazy and deluded, full of delusion. So, for example, okay, let's, we can, we can actually, we can actually do some math here <laughs> to, to just tell this person how stupid they are being. Okay. First of all, I understand where they're coming from with like, oh, uh, you, you know, YouTube is not a, it's a volatile career. You know, it's not, you, you've got to go to college and get, you know, get a degree and get a job. And that's, that's like what a, you know, what a parent, what a parent would say, right? If, if your son had 12 subscribers, not 12 million. Okay. Do you realize how many 12 million is? Okay. We can actually do some math here. Let's bring up the calculator. All right. Here's my calculator. Sorry, it's in Japanese, <laughs> it's in Japanese. <laughs> anyway, so, okay, let's say you have, okay, you have 12, mil 12 million subscribers. All right, you're you're like a, let's just say your son, I don't know, he's, let's just say he's a gaming channel, because that's pretty standard, I guess, for a, a young, a young lad. <laughs> so, okay, let's say your son gets like an average of, like 10, per we'll just say 10% of his 12 million, like 10% of his 12 million subscribers like 10% of that is like how many views he gets on each video. This is kind of like, after doing some research, I kind of figured out that that's like the average, I guess, uh, from other channels I've seen. So anyway, and that's actually similar to mine too. I get 10% of my total subscribers on each video view for views. Anyway, let's see. Okay, so we got 12 million. We're gonna times that by 0.1 for 10%. Okay, so let's say your son gets an average of 1.2 million views. Well, okay, let's say one to 1.2 million views on each video. That is actually very crazy, okay? Now, let's say the average CPM CPM of a gaming channel is about, I don't know, 2.5, uh, $2.50. All right, so what we have to do is divide this number by 1,000 first, because this is CPM is cost per 1,000 views, and we get 1,200, okay? So 
this is divided by 1200 and now you have to multiply this by let's say our average is two like we said before cpm is two dollars and fifty cents so we multiply that by 2.5 and we get three thousand dollars okay on one video cpm okay now we're not done <laughs> youtube takes about 45 percent i think I'm not sure. <laughs> I think they take about 45%. I don't know. Anyway, so we'll multiply this number by, let's say 55. Yes, 55, math, 55% because that's how much of your cut would be. Okay, let's say he gets 1,000, an average of $1,650 on one video, okay, with that 12 million subscribers. Now, let's say if it's a gaming channel, maybe he posts like once, I don't know, he could post every day. Let's just see what happens if he posts every day. Let's see what his average income might be for, for like one month, I guess. And then we'll do like a year. Okay, so 30.4 is an average days in per, per month, okay? So 30.4. So your son could potentially be making an average of $50,000 in one month, okay? <laughs> That's if your RPM is is about, uh, I don't know, like a dollar or a dollar, a dollar fifty, dollar twenty five. So let's multiply that by 12. Okay, so your son could potentially be making $600,000 a year if he posts like every day, okay? Gaming channel with 12 million subscribers, okay? This is just one example. Anyway, 600,000, uh, 601, uh, $601,920, okay? Now let's say, let's say he just makes a dollar, a dollar on each, on, on each 1,000 views, okay? So even if he makes a dollar, let's say he makes a, a million, Let's say he gets a million views on one video, okay? And, all right, let's divide that by 1,000. Can't see because my microphone's in the way. <laughs> it's 1,000, okay? Now we multiply that by one, so it's 1,000. So he gets $1,000 for one video with a, with a million views, potentially, okay? Let's say he, let's say he posts uh, just, I don't know, four times a month, once every week, times four, okay? $4,000 a month, it's already, what that's already about the same as like an average job i guess in america now we divide uh sorry we multiply that by 12. <laughs> and you could be making like he okay so he could be making like as little as okay so if he posts this one if he posts a video once per week and gets a cpm or an rpm of one dollar per 1000 views he could be potentially making f anywhere from forty eight thousand dollars a year to six hundred thousand dollars a year so your son is already golden, okay? He, he's literally like won the lottery, you know, with YouTube. Uh, I'm sure he put all, you know, if he put all the work in and stuff. Anyway, so with that in mind, <laughs> I, my personal opinion is I think you're pretty stupid for wanting to tell him that it's not a viable career. Okay, so we're just gonna throw out the door, you know, 48,000 to $600,000 a year. Okay, that's, I guess that's not viable. <laughs> not a viable career option and uh, shut down the account. Okay, we're just gonna throw away um, $600,000 a year. That sounds pretty good. And let's go to college. Let's go to college, put all that work in, you know, spend four years in college, have a debt of over $100,000. over hundred thousand You're gonna be paying that off for the rest of your life in increments every month, probably. And then you're gonna get a job that's pays like $30,000 to $50,000 a year. <laughs> so let's see, what is better, okay? 12 million subscribers with potentially $48,000 to $600,000 a year, or, you know, a, a regular job that you just don't be paying off a bunch of debt. You probably pay off all your debt with that 12 million su subscribers, but I'm assuming your son hasn't, went to, hasn't gone to college yet. And he probably doesn't need to, okay, to be honest. <laughs> so you have no debt, $48,000 to $600,000 a year with 12 million subscribers, potentially. Or you can have like a ton of crap ton of debt uh, based on like recent, you know, American college debt standards, uh, statistics nowadays. And you'll still be paying that off for the rest of your life and you'll be making 50 grand a year maybe, okay? After four years of college and getting a job, if you get a job. So it's pretty fucking stupid. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see what the internet has to say about this. To recap, my son has a, has a YouTube channel with 12 million subscribers. How do I tell him it's not a viable, viable career option and shut down the account while not being despised? Okay, first of all, let's see what the assistant bot has to say because that's pretty interesting. <laughs> So it's great, assistant, it's great that your son has built such a large following on his YouTube channel. It's important to approach this conversation with sensitivity and understanding. 
You could start by expressing your support for his creativity and hard work. <laughs> and, and then gently introduce the idea of exploring other career options. Oh yes, very good, <laughs> assistant. <laughs> that offer long-term stability and growth. You could also discuss the importance of education and developing a diverse skill set. It's important to listen to this his perspective and concerns as well. Ultimately, this, the decision to shut down the channel should be made collaboratively. <laughs> <laughs> Taking into account his aspirations and future goals. Okay, thanks, assistant. So <laughs> it's pretty neutral, but uh, the assistant's kind of being stupid too. I mean, maybe it's not. Maybe you. Maybe you're that 12 million subscribers is bots. I have no idea. But if it's not bots, I. I it could be unstable from like 50 years from now. Maybe I don't know. Whenever you stop, but you could like freaking like work. Let's say you work for like. Okay, six hundred thousand dollars a year. Let's say five hundred thousand dollars a year. You work for, I don't know, YouTube three years or something. Okay, so that's five one million five one million one point five million dollars in three years. Okay, it's crazy. Anyway, let's see, let's see what the internet has to say about this. You sound like a fool. <laughs> Your son has potential 12 million people watching his content and you want to give that up with the views alone Your son will probably probably make more money than you will ever in your lifetime So how about you get rid of that boomer mindset and you have a be in and be grateful that your child is actually successful? <laughs> mm. I don't even normally read these but the title caught me I don't know why I'm doing this once. <laughs> really hoping this is a troll question. And me too. I, I hope to God that this is a trolling question, man. Otherwise, this is your answer. Take your son to the hope. Take your take. Wait, take your son to the hopes and dreams cemetery. <laughs> Inform him you are killing his. <laughs> then bury them with his trust and respect for you. Easy peasy. <laughs> Ooh, what a burn. All right, you don't. Your kid has literally hit the jackpot. If I were him and you deleted my 12 million subscriber YouTube channel, I'd never speak to you again once I hit 18 years old. Surely you can't be that clueless. <laughs> okay, this is actually kind of a reasonable answer. Uh, LOL, you don't. Yes, okay. <laughs> is this even a serious question? Yes, my thoughts exactly. You have no idea how many YouTubers crave even 1,000 subscribers. Yes, me included. Please get me to one that come. Please, please, please subscribe to the channel. I have uh, uh, 752 subscribers. I just need like like 248 more to get 1,000 subscribers. Please, please subscribe. Tell tell him that he needs a college as a backup if you if YouTube falls apart. Then teach him to invest his money. Okay, that's a pretty good answer. <laughs> then we have the next one. You are an idiot. An idiot. <laughs> A YouTube channel with 12 million subscribers is a dream of many very experienced and professional YouTube content producers who actually do make a career out of it. Even if YouTube goes kaput in a few years and nobody uses the platform anymore, the skills your son has at marketing and content creation are extremely transferable to just about any industry imaginable. Your son has already, your son already has a much more viable career than you do. Maybe take a seat and let him teach you something. That is some good advice, Caleb Donor. <laughs> oh, so basically, you want your kid to slave away for the rest of his life at a nine to five job instead of the millions he could be making if you supported him and allowed him to monetize his channel. Okay, first of all, that would really fucking suck if his channel was not monetized yet. Turn that AdSense on for fuck's sake. Wow. That a great, <laughs> wow, what a great parent you are, man. Your kid is really lucky you want him to suffer like everybody else. <laughs> yeah, but seriously, turn that AdSense on. Oh, jeez, you are a terrible person. However, if you want, <laughs> Jesus Christ, there's, there's no mercy on the internet. <laughs> you are a terrible person. However, if you want a quick and easy way to lose the trust and friendship of your own son, then go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, I just wanted to, I just saw that and <laughs> come into my email notifications and I just had to check that out and it was crazy and I had to make a video on it because it was just too good to pass up. And uh, yeah, I, I sincerely hope that that's a troll question. It might be, but if it's not, then there's some serious issues going on here. <laughs> 12 million subscribers, man, if you, people can make a living off of like, 
less than 10,000 subscribers. I've seen it happen, okay? So man, if you have 12 million subscribers, that is a viable career option, okay? Do not shut down that channel. Do not destroy that account because you will destroy your son's dreams and turn that AdSense on if it's not on yet. Thanks, bye. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. This is our hero of the story here today, a freaking dumbass kid trying to rob a Macy's. First of all, what the heck was he even trying to rob? Shoes? Come on, there's a lot of other ex more expensive stuff in that store right in front of your fucking face. Like jewelry and stuff, but you choose shoes? I mean, granted, shoes are expensive, but dude, come on. Alright, so we're starting out with already this guy's got the broccoli haircut. This is always a good one. This is good for the get, get this is how you get girls, guys. You gotta get the broccoli haircut. Also, what the heck is this drip, dude? He's got shorts, basketball shorts with long socks? What is this guy trying to do? What the heck? Are those Converse? What the fuck? What is he even taking right there? Is that- I don't know what that is. What- I mean, somebody in the works in a Macy store, please tell me in the comments what the heck that is. Is that shoes? I'm assuming it's shoes, but I can't really tell from the- from the, how blurry the video is and, you know, what this guy is doing. I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, dude, none of the employees tried to stop him. I mean, if I were them too and I was getting paid minimum wage, I would not try to risk my life and try to stop this guy. He could have a knife or a gun. He could have anything on him and I don't want to get hurt or uh, worse. Yeah, for sure. Not for minimum wage. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, for sure. I'm not going to I'm not going to butt in and I don't blame them for not butting in either. It's not their job to try to stop this guy. I mean, it's the security card's job to try to stop that guy. Also, like, I, I don't understand why aren't these things supposed to beep and be really loud when you st when you take stolen stuff outside a store? Well, I'm not sure why these things didn't do that. Like, are they broken or <laughs> did he take the tag off? I don't know. Aren't these things supposed to work? Like, what the heck? <laughs> what a bastard. I like that. Yeah, get the license plate. There it is. Yeah, <laughs> they got the license plate. They're so dumb, dude. Oh, I like how like uh, the car tries to drive away while he's trying to get in. They're about to leave him, dude. They're <laughs> no honor among thieves, am I right? Yeah, Bro broccoli haircut guy is trying to get in the car. They're just ready to leave his ass, dude. His uh, high sock ass. Oh, yeah, he's trying to take the thing off. It's ridiculous. Dude. That's like the worst heist I've ever seen in in all of my years on the internet. 20 years to be to be exact, by the way. 27. I've pretty much been on the internet since I was seven years old. Yeah, about 20 years. But yeah, dude, this guy obviously did not plan anything. He's stupid. Uh, broccoli haircut, stupid. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, like how how does he even how does one even do this? Did you just go in with the trash bag and just start taking shit off the shelf? Like, how does he even do this? Dude, I actually like the comments more than the video sometimes. He says, you really thought that he was going to pull the license plate off? His mom was will be so disappointed when he returns her car. Yeah, dude, he's probably using his mom's car, to be honest. His mom's gonna be the one that gets in trouble, which sucks for her. That or like his grandma's car, which is even worse. <laughs> Glad the theft sensors at the door work. Yeah, exactly, my thoughts exactly. Those things didn't do shit. What are they supposed to do? Aren't those things really expensive? Also, apparently this is a a beach in California, LA. So I don't know if this is like a reoccurring thing, but do in Macy's in LA get robbed a lot? I mean, why would you choose to rob a Macy's when you could rob something, you know, that's way has way more valuable stuff? Although I don't think this guy can pull it off anyway because of how stupid he is with not even wearing a mask, first of all. And he's not even wearing gloves or he's not even... Uh, taking the license plate off the car and he's just completely unprepared this guy's a fucking idiot to be honest i i, I hope that the like you know that the cops will catch this guy but i uh, i don't think that they're gonna follow up on this case to be honest it seems like too minuscule that for them to follow up or maybe it's out of the lapd's jurisdiction or something i don't know it seems like it, it, it's a case that won't be followed up on i can't find anything on the internet anywhere where it talks about this case further, or this guy, or if he got arrested, it's like completely gone off the internet. But I just saw this on Reddit, and I wanted to show you guys, because it was just ridiculous. Like, this guy's an idiot, just robbing a Macy's out of nowhere in LA.
Bro, look at this guy. He's just like, what the fuck? He's like, well, uh, bro, what are you doing? And I like how he just, look at the, he looks at the camera too. He's like, oh, hey, did you see? <laughs> look at that. Yeah, he looks at the camera directly. Like, you could you could pull facial recognition software for this guy and totally, totally is, uh, arrest his ass. Dude, this guy's freaking ridiculous. So guys, Jack Totary just posted a new video on about how he crashed his McLaren. So I thought we'd check it out today. So let's go check it out. Okay, here we go. I crashed my McLaren by Jack Totary. All right, let's check this out. Oh God, why? Dude, why is he always shirtless? Is this some, is this something like, uh, I don't understand. Is this some kind of trend I'm not aware of? Do I need to go shirtless to get views? <laughs> why is he always shirtless? Anyway, let's check it out. I did not think this was gonna happen, I'm sorry. dude. In my in my last video, just check it out the links in the description below. I talked about his how he like was literally reading chat while driving at like seventy two miles an hour <laughs> in the rain. Like, what do you expect was gonna happen? What do you mean? I did not think this was gonna happen. Obviously, this was gonna happen. What the fuck? Couple days before my twenty first birthday. Who's that, his mom? I don't know how to feel right now, guys. I'm just so, I'm sad, bro. I'm so sad right now. Sadness can't even express how sad I actually am. At least my Richard Mill is still okay. Wait, what the, what was that watch? Sadness can't even express how sad I actually am. At least my Richard Mill. Richard, Richard Mill, what is that? Is that like, I don't know anything about luxury watches is that like a really popular brand or something i don't it looks really stupid though to be honest it doesn't look like a luxury watch like a rolex or something it looks like some kind of knockoff thing you'd buy for five bucks at like the second hand store Milk's still okay. <laughs> okay. dang that thing is destroyed look at that that is wrecked bro I did not think this is gonna be happening today. Me neither. Oh my god. Alright guys, my McLaren is totaled a couple days before my 21st birthday. Again, why is there no shirt in, in the rain? Bro, what is happening? Thank you guys. You hit, you hit your head hard, bro. I just remember, like, after it just panicking, you know, what both the windows breaking. I know the smoke was fucking. Dude, that got. Did you see me kick out the window? Okay, so in my last video, I mentioned I couldn't show his friend's face because he was, like, bleeding profusely from his head. And that probably would have not been good on YouTube to show that, to be honest. So I just avoided that. But yeah, I like how Jack is just in the hospital room. Uh, f he's, like, filming like this while the nurse is taking care of his friend. Like, if I was, I, I don't, I couldn't even do that. Like that's embarrassing. And like, like, how, how can you, how can you just film in the hospital room? Like it's just, dude, this guy is looking for any content that he could possibly get. Who? You see me kick out the That window. was you? Yeah. Dude, and then someone, I think, ripped the other window out. I was like trying to figure out how to do it. You were like banging your elbow on it. I know, I punched it. Dude, you were going crazy. Don't be Michael David, but like, that was so scary it smoked up so fast like how did that happen dude i don't know bro if you think i've had a full tank of gas like we would have been exploded i don't know because my get my tank was empty like it literally was at like 20 miles left and then also on top of that we don't we crashed like 42 miles per hour i know it was, we weren't even going fast at all like if we were i don't think you were going 42 miles an hour i think you were hydroplaning at about 72 miles an hour at first and then the hydroplaning stopped you and slowed you down to 42 miles an hour in the rain while reading chat on live stream, by the way. We're going, what, double the speed? We probably would've been dead. Like, that was terrible. That was insane. Like, we hydroplane. Like, dude, yeah, they're we really lucky to be alive, dude. The whole fucking thing would've been dead. Holy shit, there was a cliff right there. Oh my God. We're happy to be alive, you know? Yeah, they're lucky that guardrail was there, or they would've been, de like, dead for sure. Or at least something broken really bad. Oh, this is his mom, okay. We left in two cars. 
we left here in uh, two cars like six hours ago, and now we're back in one car. Now your mom's crying. I was just crying, bro. Aw. I love you, mom. Here, mom. His, his mom must be like worried as crap, dude. I love you, mom. Stupid kid. I like how he plays his music. Like it's. <laughs> You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just, I'm just, I don't like to cry. Well, honey, I better cry now. And I'm gonna tell you, you need to stop. I know, I don't, I don't want to, obviously, I don't want to do more cars. What I, I know, McKinley, I'm gonna give you a hug too, one second. Listen, <laughs> me and the, what I told you yesterday, I called you the park. way how you was driving. Me and Michael, we were saying last night, yes, the way how he drive, he's gonna have an accident. That's yep. why I called McKinley, but she didn't pick it up the phone last night because I don't want to distract you. You can't. And this card, that shit, I mean, would you have it? That's not for that kind of weather. You are alive. Yeah, dude. You are alive, Jack. I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about that, but the McLaren has got like s certain type of like suspension and and wheels that's not it's definitely not made for rainy weather especially going at 72 miles an hour while reading chat <laughs> again stupid um yeah it's two wheel drive i believe it's not even four wheel drive so yeah it's not it's not made for that type of weather it was really dumb to even go out in that rainstorm i don't want to go on on your funeral jackie yep. please please yeah. take this seriously no He's not gonna take it seriously. When you're driving, I did it. Phone. Yeah. What happened? Tell me. Mom, it was just wet. It, 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 we hydroplane, mom. Like I couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> what the, fuck? dude? You literally streamed live your stupidity by reading chat while driving like this. <laughs> reading chat. Going 72 miles an hour during a rainstorm. Of course, it's your fault entirely. What do you mean? I don't know what was happening. Oh, it was wet. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Give me a break, dude. It's pouring rain. Oh, yeah, I would have been gosh. probably dead if I went What is Mikey? Faster. Who's Mikey? Is that his friend? Oh, who's this guy? I don't even know who he is. No, oh, the other you, one. The other I, was one. Like, I was like, what? <laughs> Come here, my love. Oh, thank, uh, you, sweetheart. thank God McKinley's okay. <laughs> again, no, again, why is he shirtless? I don't understand. Can this guy not put a shirt on? Does he not own any shirts? Somebody in the chat tell me. <laughs> I'm a big hug. I'm going, but I don't see him. I was just asking. He went I'm going him. How he's doing, Jack? He's alright now. He got stitches, everything. He's cooked. No. Look at the camera, bro. <laughs> <laughs> of course not, but look, this, look how strong this piece is. Like this, literally, like that's just sharp too. That's what makes. That's what. That looks like a really expensive camera. Anything. You should go on your knees, Jack, and say thank you. I know. Thank God that we're both okay. Yeah. Yeah. Really. If, if the guardrail wasn't there, it would have been way worse. So much going on. Like no one understands. Everyone's so quick to put some shit on shit on me on social media. No one's gone through what I gone through just now. Like I literally almost died in a. Car accident. I am like I literally almost what? gone through what I got. What do you say? Everyone's so quick to put some shit on shit on me on social media. No one's gone through what I gone through just now. Like oh, I literally I almost died through. in a car accident. I am like I literally almost died in a car. Fuck these cars too. What, do you, dude? What do you mean you you've what? What do you mean you've? are the only person that's gone through this before there's like hundreds of thousands of crashes car crashes every single day like what are you talking about you're not the only one that's done this and unfortunately you're not the only one that's read chat or texted while driving too so that's yeah i don't know what this guy's on but he's talking nonsense he's crazy bro he's a freaking idiot what are you talking about you're the only one that it's the only you're the only one that this happened to. What? You, you're insane. You're deranged. <laughs> what the? Uh, lunatic, bro. At least I still got two Lambos. I have. No, okay. You don't need this. Did you hear that, guys? 
At least I still got two Lambos. Oh my god, thank the lord. At le guys, at least he still has two Lamborghinis. Oh my god. We're saved. We're saved. Motion. I can do it again. Everything in life is for the reason, Jack. Where's Michael Davis? Where's Michael? I'm going to go the other Michael. <laughs> I'm ready to start going again. Give me my keys. I realized I still got my McLaren key, so I still have all my keys. Uh, let me take a pic with all my keys real quick. So people still think I have a McLaren. <laughs> oh, I'm just happy to be alive, guys. I literally was crying on the way home. Like, if we didn't hit the guardrail head on, one of us would have been just crushed. Like, that would have been so That's bad. what I was but, saying. Uh, I'm glad that me and Michael are both okay. The guardrail wasn't there, man. No more You're so lucky the guardrail like was the there. Rain. No more, I don't even know, bro. Like, I wasn't even going fast. That's the crazy part. It's just like, just can't drive those cars in the rain. What are you talking about? You were going 70 miles an hour and reading chat, not even looking at the road. What are, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh my God, dude. This guy is insane. You have to watch yourself 48 hours, honestly. I'm actually, I want to see his mom's reaction when she watches the, the VOD back on kick. That would be, in, that would be a good video. Jack, you're not going to feel right now. You remember when, when Babcha got in an accident? She was fine. When she go to hospital, then to find out so many things. Don't say you're fine. Your body is right now in shock. So you have to give yourself 48 hours. You're going to start feeling this later, Jackie. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, she's right that the body will go in shock. So he probably doesn't know anything's wrong with him. He has to, he has to get checked out. What happened with the live, live stream? You got pissed. You got banned. Why? It's suspended. I'm fine. I'm fine. So how are you going to do your property? I will. I'll get on ban. Don't worry. It's fine. Uh, I hope not. Dude, he, that ban was rightfully deserved. He should not be let back on kick for that. Like, there has to be some kind of, like, message to be sent. Out to the world that you can't this can't be tolerated hey I'm sorry I'm alive uh, how was your day major 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 doom yeah, okay what? how was your day how was my day it was, it was all right who's Michael I don't know Why is he funeral home or some shit <laughs> Dude, it's that's like, so, so poor, that joke and poor taste like, awful is like jokes but you feel obviously like everything is so sad Oh, is this his friend? He, he looks he looks really beat up, dude. The heck? Look at this. Look, damn. He got beat up like f crazy, dude. Look at the scratches on him. He, that's definitely got. He definitely has to get had to get stitches for that. Yeah, this guy's face was really bloody in the in the video that I couldn't show. That's insane. Oh, well, I'm glad he's okay, but damn. And again, where are the shirts? Why is everybody shirtless? Yeah. Hey, I'm so sorry. My son's a fucking idiot. Are you sure? Where you got the stitches? Uh, like there, there. Yeah. Oh, he did get stitches. Okay, that's good. We are alive, Michael. How's it? How's it feel? How you feel? Kind of shitty, but yeah. No more McLaren. That's fine. At least we're okay. Like it really. No more respect. McLaren. He could have both been dead right now. That's like the crazy sad part. He got more hurt getting pulled out of the car. Basically, they po he popped his shoulder out when he was getting pulled out of the car. Like it didn't end for him when we got when we got in the crash. He literally popped his shoulder out. They, they were pulling me out, and like the way they were pulling me, it popped out. And then I like I was like, oh fuck. So I like sat back in the car for a second. Cause that's like after I kicked out the window. Yeah, because I was like, why are you still in the car when all that was happening? And I was like, why is he holding his arm now? All of a sudden, like he was just bashing his elbow into the thing. I thought that's why he's holding his arm, but I don't know. He popped out his shoulder. Popped it back in, and then they pulled me out after. Yeah, not only did the camera go into his face off the airbag, like that's what this is from. The camera. W filmer, filmer of the year, MVP. I was scared that. I like how like he, this guy that didn't even crash the car has taken all the damage. Like he's gotten all the aggro from the crash. He got the at crash aggro and then he took all the damage. Like he was the tank of this of this raid. <laughs> and the guy who actually did the crash didn't take any damage. Like he, he's got no scratch on him. Damn that we were gonna get hit by another car. I don't know where we ended up, you know? Cause like it was so smoky in the car. Like, I don't know if we're in the middle of the road and cars were still driving, we were about to get fucking hit. But like, it was so scary, glad we were alive. That was, uh, 
craziest thing ever, man. Yep. But I love you, bro. I'm sorry I did that. Okay. You don't ever have to go in a car with me ever again if you don't want to. It happened like, like so fast, so slow. It did. It literally it was, was like, so slow. The airbags happened in slow motion too. Yeah, I remember like watching them just like pop and then like just like it was like black for a second and then like you're good. Literally, it was like it's like you get knocked out for a second. It's literally like what happens when you get punched in the face. That's what I felt like. That's probably where my head hurts right now. Jackie, somebody has an autograph card. Oh my god. You're already trying to get money out. It's been just give me a couple more hours to heal. I lost 200 grand on a McLaren. God damn. Oh. Ask Michael. Boo hoo. What was me? I lost 200k on a McLaren because of my own stupidity by reading chat while live streaming my actual criminal activities. Driving in the rain. On the fast lane. 72 miles an hour. Almost killed myself and killed other people along with that. Terrible. Oh. Woe is me, 200k. He does only f too. Listen, Mike, you got me today? I already saved your girlfriend. So. From what? From dying. Mikey, what is that? <laughs> Mikey, what is that? I'm just the reason you have a girlfriend. All right, guy. All right, well, I'm glad we're alive, guys. I'll uh, get back to you when uh, next time I drive uh -huh. a car or something. Don't okay. know. <laughs> Please don't get back to us <laughs> with a car with another car live stream. Well, damn, guys, that was insane. Um, yeah, that dude. Again, I'm not gonna repeat what I said in the last video, but he's just a fucking idiot. <laughs> he endangered himself, his friend, and all the people around him by thinking it was a good idea to drive in the rain at high speeds in the fast lane while reading chat uh, during a live stream. And uh, yeah, he basically, you know, gave him gave the police all the evidence they need if he needs to be, you know, prosecuted or something for this. It's just, oh, super dumb and stupid. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, 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 delicious. <laughs> it's so yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't ever do it. Jesus Christ, what the actual fuck is that? Kenneth Copeland is actually possessed. I swear to God, no pun intended. Okay, for those of you who don't know, Kenneth Copeland is like a, uh, I don't even know what the heck he is anymore, but he's basically like a super rich pastor, preacher, I don't know, whatever you want to call him, uh, giver of the Lord's words. He has like garnered a reputation of being like having himself above everybody else basically and he has basically made so much money from all his like donations and and sponsors that people give money to his church right but he has like all these private jets and it's insane he's super filthy rich and he basically there was a video uh, like an interview done by a uh, vice or somebody i forgot who it was but the lady asked him like why do you why do you consider like the people in economy class or in the plane like if he's riding a plane why do you consider them devils or demons and he was like he had an actual answer for that and it was insane this guy's actually just delusional and deranged and it just this video like actually proves that he's actually possessed dude <laughs> what blood the blood of this covenant glory to God <laughs> Jesus Christ I don't want to give any blood to this guy. Oh my god, what does he mean, blood of the covenant? That's that. Uh, no. Cut the covenant with his father, God. Glory. Uh, <laughs> he just got slapped in the fucking face. And he's like, <laughs> give this covenant to God. Glory. Dude, it's like, what the fuck? Like, what is happening here? Am I, am I missing something? What religion is this? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's dude, he's got like the like the best evil laugh I've ever seen. Like this is crazy, man. <laughs> it's like Moses of old. They come oh 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 they come in one. Oh. <laughs> Dude, is this guy like on something? Like, am I like he's actually insane? Like, he's barking. Like, he's I show speed. Is this what I show speed's gonna look like? Like, uh, fifty years from now, he's gonna be like just a barking pastor, I guess. <laughs> Don't ever do it. Don't ever feel sorry for yourself. Don't ever do it. Jake. Whoa. Whoa. He almost freaking threw me out of my chair. Whoa. I'm. 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 Oh my God, guys. 
I think I'm I think I'm seeing the light. Kenneth Copeland Master, you have shown me the light. Oh my god. Whoa! Yeah, that's the face that that face does not sell me on uh, the the religion that he's talking about. To be honest, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to say that that's not the face I want to see when I'm trying to go get closer to God. How absolutely stunning! It's just delicious. <laughs> it's so good. Excuse me. What is so delicious? I, am I missing something here? Did he just call me delicious? And he will be like Moses, and he'll live 120 years, and he said, yeah, 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 preach it, brother, preach it, brother, preach it. Just before the cross. And we have a healing covenant. <laughs> <clears throat> yes. Yeah. He sounds like he's freaking like Darth Sidious, man. It's crazy. Dwells in. Me. <laughs> wait, wait, I gotta see that again. The music and the edit was actually perfect. Props to whoever edited, the, edited this video. I can't, I would have shown the source, but I don't know who edited the video. It's just a Reddit video. In me. <laughs> spotless blood of God. And as it was performed for me, he's my blood brother. And my father is my friend. <laughs> Dude, this guy is literally, what is he doing? That is not this, that is not like the, the stature I want my priest or sermon or, or pastor to look like when he's preaching to me, man. That looks like he's, he, what is he doing with his arms? What is happening? I think he's actually possessed, guys. Somebody go check on him. <laughs> and as he is, so are we in this world. Glory to God, I don't have it. I never will have it. And I don't mind telling you, I'll never be sick again in my life hereafter forever. Not one time. I will never. Say what? Today? We know your mama. Uh, what? No, you don't know my mama. No, thanks. Bro, okay, seriously, dude, what is wrong with Kenneth Copeland? Like, I think he's actually possessed or something. Like, look at that face. Go, what is, the, dude? Where's the face? Let me find it right here. Oh, okay, there's a weird face. Okay, <laughs> wait, there's another one. Okay, you don't want you don't want your pastor to actually like look like this, right? Like, this is not the face of of tranquility, and like the he, some guy who's preaching about giving the blood of the sacrament. And like, it sounds like he's about to like do like some kind of human sacrifice with the, with the with the with this guy. Yeah, yeah. He says glory and smacks him in the fucking face. Look at this. Wait, I gotta, dude. I gotta see that again. Check this out. Cut the covenant with his father God. Glory. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, <laughs> you just fucking hit me in the face, you bastard. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's just insane. Okay, wait. Oh, here's the face. Here it is. Here it is. Yeah, yeah. This is the, gonna be the thumbnail, guys. Okay, <laughs> look at that face. This is not the face of somebody who you know you want to see. Uh, you want to give money to. I don't know how this guy has so many donations and, and sponsors. How do you think like, oh, this guy is the way to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? How do you actually think that? That's insane. This, so anyway, Kenneth Copeland is is basically. He's kind of like a fraud, basically. He's made so much money uh, off of uh, his followers and his, I think he has like a, a radio uh, show or something as well. But he has like this thing and he's, uh, he's got like this show. It's like, it's like freaking prime time TV for religion or whatever. But it's just not how religion should be expressed in my opinion. It, it's actually crazy. Like he, he, he basically justifies his, his affluency, his affluent lifestyle. Uh, and it's it's insane. There's another there's another video that I think Moist Critical did. It's a pretty good one that where he reacts to like an uh, interview, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. You guys should check that out. Go see uh, Penguin Z Zero on YouTube. It's a good video. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that. I thought that was hilarious because it came up in my Reddit feed. Whoever edited that video, kudos to you. That was a really good video. Good job, man. So guys, apparently uh, we've all been tricked by some no one other than Nikocado Avocado. If you guys don't know who he is, he's the guy that was always like doing mukbangs is like and being super overweight and super obese and fat. And apparently he all the videos that he did 
were re- pre-recorded from two years ago and you set them to go live like in the course of two years and now he's skinny i can't believe it you guys gotta check this out like he lost like 250 pounds okay let's check this out what do we got here two two steps ahead okay two steps ahead oh my god i am always two steps ahead this has been the greatest social experiment of my entire life i love the panda hat i love the panda mask why dude it's perfect look at him oh my god look like look at his arms this is i can't this is wait oh i see like stretch marks here a bit so maybe it is i can't believe it's him i don't believe it's him until he takes off the mask what's going it's on here? Alluring. it's compelling it's gripping to observe all these unwell, disoriented beings roam the internet in search of stories, ideas, rivalries, where they feel encouraged and engaged, where they involve themselves with the stories and become a product of influence. Dude, can we just talk about how like how good his like voice is? Like he's uh, apparently if you guys don't know, he's if you guys don't know, he basically uh, graduated from like the super high up level of art institute, like MIT basically for art institute. So he's very uh, very talented. And if you look at his videos from a very long time ago, he's actually a very accomplished um, violinist. So he's really talented. So he's got a great voice, by the way. And his acting is awesome. I mean, I don't even think I. I can't even tell it's acting. Like, I can't tell what's real. Thirsty for a distraction from time unspent, spoiling their minds, yet stimulating them at the same time. It's brilliant. And it's dangerous. I feel as if I'm monitoring ants on an ant farm. Are we the ants? One follows another follows another follows another i love it's it it's mesmerizing it's spellbinding all these little consumers all of these lost and bored people people consuming anything that they're told to consume yep oh no oh my god he's so i am the villain because I've made myself one. <laughs> what? Oh my god. I uh I purposely did not like this just came out. I purposely did not uh react or watch any of the videos that other YouTube creators have been making on this for a reason. I've been holding back because I wanted to see this to myself and give my genuine reaction to it. But oh my freaking god. This is insane. Guys, his like look at his uh previous look at his uh previous video. Here, look at, look at, like, his video before that, this one, was literally this. Look at this. Look. I'm gonna do my... That was him, and this is him now. Oh my god. And you will continue to consume these stories about me. Year after year after year. Oh my god, he's actually the villain. As long as I tell the internet that I am the villain. Stories that permeate and linger and infect the minds of the ants. Influence the ants. Brainwash the ants. You are the ants. Dude, that face yes yes that face dude. <laughs> oh my god dude that was perfect like timing look at that let me see that again you you are the ants. ants perfect he's actually the villain today i woke up from a very long dream right and i also woke up having lost 250 pounds off you can tell by look at the you can tell like his he's got like loose skin like on his arms and chest and uh neck area you can tell of my body 
Yeah, just yesterday. Wait, how many? Did he say how many pounds? Off of my body. Having lost 250 pounds. I didn't even hear that. 250 pounds, guys. That's insane. Yeah, just yesterday. I've actually, I've actually lost weight before too. I was like, uh, I'm like 175 or 170 pounds, 170 pounds right now. And uh, before that, I was like two, I was like 220. So I've lost 50 pounds before. So, and that was crazy, like 50 pounds. I've, I can't even imagine uh, losing 250 pounds. That is insane. I mean, I thought 50 pounds was a lot. It was a lot. Though. Like I was like pretty fat before. And now I'm um, j just normal, basically. But um, yeah, I used to weigh a lot more. And I cannot believe that's really great. I'm, as a fellow weight losser, uh, a loser of weight, a fellow loser of weight, I really commend uh, Nick here. This is great. Yesterday, people were calling me fat and yep. sick. Yep. Everybody was calling him fat and sick and obese. And irrelevant. People. People are the most messed up creatures on the entire planet. True. Facts. And yet I've still managed to stay. People suck. Two steps ahead of everyone. Oh my god, that's even... Okay, I'm making that the thumbnail. <laughs> that's gonna be the thumbnail, dude. That's great. <clears throat> the joke's on you. God damn. <laughs> okay, I love the parrot, first of all. That's great. Um, okay, I think he's just gonna do like a mukbang. Wow, I remember when he was this weight, like a lot, many years ago. Like he was 120 pounds or something. I don't know. He's very, he's very thin back then. And now he just basically got back to the same weight. It's actually insane that he's doing the mukbang again. Look at this. I just hope he doesn't like bounce back. Like it's very easy to get to bounce back after losing a bunch of weight. I don't know how he lost the weight, but that's, uh, yeah, he should just, I guess, be careful about that. Maybe he's going to be, maybe he's going to get fat again. Like that's, this is, this is like, uh, um what's it? this is like the second round or like whatever the third round is coming where he might get fat again <laughs> like dark souls new game plus okay so my my friend actually recommended me a, a video uh going along with this one and it was actually a, a batman in and like edit because i love the dark knight series and this is an edit from that and uh, apparently this is really this is really good so we're gonna we're gonna watch this <laughs> Two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. Oh my god. This is perfect. This has been the greatest social experiment I've come to know. Certainly the greatest social experiment of my entire life. It's alluring. It's compelling bear witness to observe all these unwell, unbalanced, disoriented beings roam the internet. He's actually the Joker. In search of stories. In search of ideas, of conflict, of rivalries, where people develop a distinctive desire for direct engagement where people feel involved with the stories and therefore become product of influence. Thirsty for distraction from time unspent, from lackluster lifestyles, spoiling their minds while stimulating them the exact same time. It's brilliant. It's it's brilliant, dude. This is crazy. Like the way he the influx influx of his voice. I think that's how it's what it's called. But he's like he ends every sentence going down. They are ants. I've been doing a social experiment. It's it's like exactly how the Joker would speak. And I don't know who CGI this, but this is amazing edit, by the way. But it's also dangerous. I 
feel as if my life has been positioned to where I'm monitoring ants on an ant farm. Dude. One follows another. It's the same speech. Follows another, follows another. It's, it's oh my God. mesmerizing. It's actually the same it's thing. It's enthralling. It's spellbinding. Just look at all these consumers. All of these lost and bored people consuming anything that they're told to consume. I am the villain. I make myself one. And people will consume these stories year after year after year. Stories that stories that shock, that confuse, stories that are deliberately made to blur the boundaries between fact and fiction. Stories that permeate, infect, and linger. I'm actually getting chills of the ants. Influence the ants. Brainwash the ants. You are the ant. He's a great actor. I woke up this morning to money deposited into my account for simply not doing something. For simply not going through with something. People are the most fucked up creatures on this planet. True, again. People suck ass. Fucking hate people. And you will continue to consume. I feel like I'm watching a cinematic movie. To be two steps ahead. Two steps ahead, baby. Gee, are you surprised? Have you forgotten the story? Are you not paying attention? After all, you're here to consume. Are you not? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> what? Oh my god, he can actually, like, voice act the Joker in an animated series. Like, if not anything, if he can't, like, actually do a live action of the Joker, he could totally do the voice acting for it. He is so freaking good. Oh my god, he's playing the villain so well. It's like, he was... He was, uh, he, he was born the villain only to see, him, see himself become the hero or whatever that saying is, dude. This video, his two steps ahead video already has seven, almost 18 million views and it came out well, yesterday. Yes, two, 18 million views in one day. Oh my God. He's one step away from becoming a fitness YouTuber. That's funny. <laughs> oh my God, guys, this is actually insane. That was, okay, that is crazy. I can't believe Nikocado Avocado lost 250 pounds in two years and he and he and he faked it all like well he didn't fake it but he basically pre-recorded the videos for two years and we've been watching him the fake him uh while he's been losing this weight i don't know how he did it but it's amazing and, and I, I congratulate him and first of all and then second of all he's an amazing uh actor and artist like he's really great i love this guy this is content this is actual content this is the stuff i wanted to see Anyway, guys, I, I just needed to react to this uh, and get on the hype train like everybody else is. It's been one day, and this is amazing. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching the video. All right, I'm a new Twitch streamer, so I thought I should take a look at this video from uh, Penguin Z Zero, aka Moist Critical, about the saddest Twitch stream ever. That I seem to be late to the party, but I kind of wanted to check this out because, uh, you know, as a new streamer myself. I want to see how bad a Twitch stream can actually get. So anyway, let's check out the saddest Twitch stream ever. When it comes to sad, pathetic things on the internet, I feel like I've seen it all. I'm like the Oracle from the Matrix. Nothing surprises me anymore. <laughs> I love his voice. Today, I bore witness to something so tragically embarrassing on Twitch that it's making me reflect, and it's put me in a very somber state. 
Okay. It was though I'm at a funeral service. A streamer invited one of her mods to hang out with her in real life and then did a stream that was an hour and 25 minutes of agonizing, miserable, inhumane torture. Waterboarding would have felt more pleasant for this mod, I Jeez. imagine. Jeez. She spends the entire stream basically just insulting him. He is the butt of every one of her jokes. And she kind of just reduces him to a spittoon for her and her chat to spit in and make fun of. My God. Now, it must be really I bad. I think punching bags get treated with more respect than this guy did. And it only got worse the longer the stream went on. She had a donation goal where if the stream gave her $500, she would kiss him. Oh, God, fuck. I'm sorry. <sighs> sorry, one more shot. One more shot. Jesus if Christ! If you ever want to get drunk really fast, just have to kiss till you'll be fucked up by the time the night's over. Yeah, that that is like really sorry. I paused him. Wow, I I'm just speechless. He's like, is this? He's taking that? Like what? He's actually just taking that? I don't understand what's happening. That is soul crushingly mean spirited. That is downright diabolical. Saying, if you want to get drunk, just try and kiss Dilly. You'll be fucked up by the Yeah, that's tonight. ridiculous. Saying that you have to be hammered to want to kiss this guy. And this is the attitude for the entire stream. So she makes it pretty clear that she can't really stand to be around him unless she is extraordinarily drunk. So the whole time she is drinking throughout the stream, they reach the donation goal. So now she's obligated to give him a little smooch. Okay. Oh, come on. Can you come closer? Oh, it's not that bad. Yes. Okay, okay. Whenever you're ready. Can you pucker up? What? Pucker up. This is my, I saw lips. <laughs> you just snotted on me. You just snotted on me. This is, my alley. This is like really cringy, <laughs> man. Those snots went on my leg. They did? Yes. I'm so sorry. Okay. Oh, my God. Alright, come on. Okay, okay. Jesus. Okay, first of all, uh, my ears got f destroyed. Come on, though. It's not that bad. She's just kissing the dude because she, uh, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, she made a promise if she reached like $500, I guess, to, you know, give a kiss to the guy. So, like, she has to go through with it. But at least she went through with it. But Jesus Christ, it's not that bad. I mean, come on. He looks embarrassed. If I was watching a hostage video where someone had kidnapped my grandmother, threatening to slit her throat unless I paid the, the ransom, I would honestly find that video to be less cruel and more humane than this Twitch stream I just watched. This yeah, is really. absolutely brutal. My heart <laughs> breaks for this guy. I don't know who he is. I don't know what he's done to deserve this, but this is like a divine punishment here. This whole thing was her idea. This was her donation. Incentive. Oh, it was? And now she's acting like it was the worst thing that ever happened to her. It's yeah, so what bad. the hell? She's got to go rinse her mouth out. She's got to fucking brush her teeth and scrub it all down with soap and bleach just to try and erase the stain that his lips put up. Jesus on Christ. Hers. It's just evil. This whole stream is her basically just bullying this guy. Well. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, Why is he sneezing so much? Are you okay? I'm good. Okay. I'm back, guys. Sorry, I'm good. I'm good. She's putting on this big song and dance about how gross and disgusting this was when it was her idea. She's doing this just to make him feel even worse and put on a show for her chat at this guy's expense. Like, oh, this yeah, right. I mean, loser virgin flew all the way here, and oh, I just had to kiss him. <laughs> like that's so mean. <laughs> And it this is. should be a wake up call to her chat that like donates money to her under this idea that she's going to like them or something like that or parasocially donating to her because they think that they're going to be friends or even more than that. This should be the biggest wake up call. Your third eye should be fucking beaming from your forehead right now with this out there. This is her mod, someone who literally like does a ton for oh, her. Oh, really? And this is how he's getting treated in front of everybody wait so okay let me let me get this right so she okay so he's her mod i guess twitch mod and she it was her idea to bring him on the show 
so he's on the show and i guess he likes her a lot like as a you know professional professionally but it was her idea to bring him on her show and she's just like like charlie's saying he, she's just degrading him in front of i don't know like probably thousands of people i don't know how many people are watching but jesus christ that's ridiculous that's what she thinks of you as well now like i said it's not just this viral moment here so i gotta pause again is he just like not is he like not aware or is does he just not care or is he okay with this because if he's okay with this i think there's something wrong like that you should not be okay with somebody that you work for just slamming slamming you on the on in front of on live on a live stream in front of other people it's just the most it's embarrassing here the very beginning of the stream comes out fucking guns blazing going hog wild about this guy having no shot with her and that she doesn't even really respect him at all. Hey. Oh yeah, Dilly's living the dream. Aren't you so happy to be here? Yeah. What the fuck? Wait, okay. She's like, oh, he's Dilly. I guess his name's Dilly. Dilly's living the dream. He's He must be so happy to be here with me. Oh, that's great. Yeah, are you having fun? You say you're having fun. Yeah, I've been posting pictures of Dilly every single day on Discord, and this guy cannot hang. <laughs> Dilly's what? eyes are fucked. <laughs> it's because I have cats and he's allergic, and he has allergy medicine. <laughs> Doesn't he look like Gru from... <laughs> Wait, oh, well, oh my god. First of all, she's now she's making fun of him physically, appear a physical appearance. Calling him Gru, I guess. But what? That's so fucking mean. Okay. So I understand why he's sniffing now. It's because she has freaking cats in her house and he's there, uh, voluntarily there, I guess. Um, and she's like, uh, before she was like, well, you sneezed on my leg, how gross. It's like, you, lady, you you fucking have cats that he's allerg allergic to in your house. And that's why he's sneezing. Sorry, every time I see Dilly, I just start laughing. This is the very beginning of the stream. This is chapter one. It's not even chapter one. This is the prologue. And she immediately comes out of the gate saying that he looks like Gru from Despicable Me and she can't help but laugh when she sees him. The stream yeah, doesn't my thoughts exactly. five full minutes without her making sure to insult him in front of everybody. He's just getting publicly flogged exactly. immediately. She is flaying him alive throughout most of the stream. Again, this whole hour and 25 minutes is basically just make fun of Dilly. And let it's an hour oh my god it's an hour and 25 minutes long of her just destroying this guy and being mean to him on camera in front of thousands of people that's horrible how is he okay with this i don't understand the chat make fun of dilly too it's so mean-spirited and this guy again i don't know anything about him he wasn't even creepy or weird or awkward. He seemed like just a very normal guy. He exactly. Seems yeah, he seems like a cool guy. Uh, I forget his name, but uh, Dilly, I guess. Yeah, he seems like really cool. Like I would hang out with him. He seems really nice and cool guy. So it's just really sad. Exactly how the title is. The saddest Twitch stream ever. This really is sad that he's just able to be okay with her doing that to him. And she, he, he does so... Uh, yeah, I'm assuming he does so much for her as a mod and she just kind of just fucking really insults him like this is actual insulting uh, him on I, I just this is just crazy I'm like speechless he's pretty nice and really not weird yes he does come across as like a little lonely and a little socially shy but there's yeah no but I mean everybody's like that or anything alarming about this I'm fucking I'm I'm pretty much like introverted too I mean he just seems like an introverted guy like which is like me as, as well like a lot of people are introverted I think most twitch streamers and youtubers are introverted uh, myself included um, and I think Dilly's just a bit introverted which is nothing's wrong with that this guy at all this must have been hell on earth for him to not only get invited out by the person that he clearly cares about since he mods for her but to go there and then just be perpetually insulted directly by that person. Apparently not, though. Apparently it's not hell on earth because he seems to be okay, which is really fucking weird if you ask me. And the community that you mod for having all these tomatoes thrown at you throughout the whole thing. And on top of all of that, be surrounded by cats which trigger his allergies. The misery must have been indescribable. 
Like, I'm getting parasocial with it because I actually just really do feel bad for him. Here. Yeah. Like, Brother, come on. Have some more self-respect. Have some more confidence. You deserve it. You deserve better than this treatment here. That was just so mean. Now, I already know the cope. I know what the excuse is going to be. Oh, she's clearly just pushing his buttons. They're just joshing around. They're very close friends, obviously. But I don't get that impression Yeah, I don't get that either. All. These aren't jokes I would tell to even my best friend, Matt, who oh, I've known since middle school. A lot of what she says to and about Dilly is just I'll let him downright finish nasty. First. I would never say to Matt, like, the only reason, you know, your wife ever kissed you is because she must have been blackout drunk and forgot what you looked like or something. That's just so fucked up. And, like, she makes statements like that pretty often throughout this stream. These aren't really jokes. She is just insulting this guy as much as possible to make him a laughing stock for her stream. Cute. Yeah, the, like, I could tell if it was, like, a gag, like a joke, then that would be pretty obvious and easy to tell. But this is actual just insultation. I don't know if that's a word, but <laughs> this is actually just her insulting him on camera. And yeah, it's just it's not it's not it's not fake. Like this is real, like actual insult. This is actual like bullying. And it's just horrible. A couple maybe are not dating. I did not claim yeah, let me Hold on. Let me rewind real quick. I'll take five seconds back so we can start for her stream. Cute couple maybe are not dating. I did not claim this. Sorry, that's so mean, but I'm don't claim it. So yeah, one hour stream, so every minute counts. I made a donation goal of five hundred dollars. I will kiss Dilly. So we hit it, we hit it. But hopefully I will be drunk for that. Let's take the first shot of the night, yeah. Jesus Christ, man, that's really painful. Like wait, let me just check his reaction real quick. So we hit it, we hit it. But hopefully I will be drunk for that. Let's take the first shot of the night, yeah? Is it too early? Uh, yeah, that <sighs> She's like, oh, hopefully I'll be drunk for that, cause like it's it's such an awful, it's a horrible thing. Oh my god, I'd rather die than kiss this guy. It's so fucking horrible. I have to be drunk. I have to be slap face drunk to do this. It's terrible. It's mean. No. Cheers. The way she responded to the cute couple statement seemed like she was genuinely offended. Anyone would even say something like yeah. that. Now, exactly. keep in mind, she's still sober right here. So this is still her insulting him with the training wheels on. She hasn't even taken the gloves off yet. It gets really bad. Oh my god, it gets after. It gets worse? Are you kidding me? It's already it's already fucking horrible. How does it get worse? The boys go with Dilly to help change his pants. So I think Dilly threw away his chunky throat pants in the trash. Dilly had the same size hands. No, oh my god. god, you have baby hands. Yeah, we have the same size hands. That means you're a small dick. The oh my god! Like what? I th <laughs> she just she just told all of her like fans and viewers that he has a small dick on camera because he has small hands. Like that's man, talk about talk about fucking depressing. That's horrible. This is awful. I mean, it's ridiculous. Like if i if i had if i had mods uh i'm not a big twitch streamer yet but if i had mods someday i would never ever be insulting to them ever that's just that's just not okay astute observers out there will have noticed that i put the stream to two times speed during her story times and i didn't I'll notice that admit to it the reason is because it was genuinely painful listening to her tell those stories because it's just shitting on dilly she's putting him on blast as frequently as possible sharing his most embarrassing moments so giving his low lights here's the Man. worst of moments with dilly here's what dilly did that was so embarrassing last night you guys need to hear this it's just again so unnecessarily mean and then of course she has to do something about penis size so she says we have yeah. the same size hands which means you have a tiny dick your hands aren't even the same size his hands are visibly bigger than yours but they again, are just being rude for the sake of it they are actually yeah. bigger hold on look at this Dilly had I didn't notice that before. She's she's raising her hand like a little bit above like this. Okay. If it was down like this, it would be smaller. Size hands. Look oh at that. God. Look at that. Her, her hand is like not even aligned. You have baby hands. Yeah, shut the f <laughs> shut up. Yeah, we have the same. <laughs> this does not strike me as two people that are friends. This strikes me yeah. as her using him for content as a punching bag. Yeah, exactly. That's what this all seems she's like. She's literally just no friend. She's She's literally just using him for clout. It's sad and depressing and degrading all at the same time. It's it's sad.
and dynamic is like this. No friendship goes like this. Of course you're going to joke around with your friends, you're going to get mean with your friends, but at the end of the day, you're close and you know that there's no actual bad blood or malicious intent there. I do not get that vibe from this interaction at all, because it is unrelenting for an hour and 25 minutes, and what I'm about to show you here I think is the most foul thing oh, there's more? throughout it. Oh my god, so either go back with my ex, or get with Tilly for six months, fuck! Okay, so in case you guys know, or don't Okay, wait, so there's truth or drink, get back with Dale, or get back, get with Dilly for six months. So I'm assuming Dale is her uh, ex-boyfriend, I guess? So, okay, let's see what she I says. Say his name out loud. Let me back, back up. Ex, or get with Dilly for six months. I'll back up with the ex, okay, okay. okay. So in case you guys know, or don't know, uh, I don't want to say his name out loud. This ex fucking traumatized me. Get a gambling addiction, drug addiction, addiction. Like, he actually fucked me up, okay? So either go to like, trauma and emotional abuse, or date Dilly for six months. Okay, so let me get this straight. So she, her, the question is, would she rather date this really nice guy for six months, or get back with Dale, her abusive, apparently abusive and traumatizing ex-boyfriend. Trying to get back with my ex. Okay, next question. Is it truly a It's in two times speed because again, she was going on a montage of degrading him. And then it got to that question. Would you rather get back with your ex who apparently traumatized her or date Dilly for six months and she chooses her ex? And then just laugh. What? She would. She what? She chose. Are you kidding me? This that is like horrible. That's that is horrible. That is like the worst thing in the video so far. She would rather be with an abusive, traumatizing ex boyfriend than being with this nice guy for six months. Are you are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I don't understand. What is her problem? Rather be in, I guess this emotionally abusive situation that she called it and be traumatized then be with dilly for six months why would you even answer this question in the first place that is so fucked up i was stunned when yeah that came around. i'm stunned too like she knows dilly is clearly interested in her romantically and yet she uses that as the butt of the jokes like half of the stream is making it clear that she feels she is so out of his league so superior to him that the comedy is that people would even suggest there's a chance. So this question rolls around and she's like, oh yeah, I'd definitely just go back with the ex. I definitely wouldn't go back or go with Dilly for six months. I'd rather be emotionally abused this yeah. time with this guy in front of his face. Too. Is there more? The guy who okay, there is more. Basically Holy. Does oh God, there's a lot more. You on your streams by modding, who has also now gone out of his way to hang out with you in real life and on your stream for your content. Exactly. And now he has to sit there and hear that you would rather be emotionally abused and traumatized than date him for six months. This guy who obviously cares about you. Yeah. I can't even imagine what a statement like that must feel like to hear. And he has to keep himself composed because she's broadcasting all of this to her audience publicly. I guess so. He's, he's either keeping himself composed or he just really is okay with that. Like, if he's okay with that, I think there's something wrong. Like, there's some issue. Or something with him not with him like exactly i said that wrong there's some issue like there there's some issue there I, like i i've never met anyone that i've had any kind of relationship with a friend or even an acquaintance that has said something that even teeters on as mean as what she just did right there and she did it right to the face of someone who very clearly cares a lot about her now she yeah. like, laughs it off and moves on to the next question and i think Dilly has been brainwashed by her into thinking that he's a good friend of hers. But Dilly, I'm just going to hit you with the cold water. Friends don't treat each other this way. She is treating you like a subhuman pile of garbage. Yeah, exactly. This is not... Dilly, uh, Dilly you might think that she's your friend, but she is not your friend. This, She is an enemy, okay? She is your enemy. This is not what a friend would do, okay? it's She is treating you exactly what Charlie says. Exactly what he says. She's treating you like a piece of shit. You're not. She. She's a piece of shit. Okay. Firstly, I would not hit. So yeah, there is a right or wrong answer. There. You would not. Okay. Well, me personally. Okay. Wait. Rate mod from one to ten, and if you would submit this, who who are making these who who is making these questions? Is it her or some other mod? Who who is making these? This is ridiculous. Rate mod one for okay. Let's see what she rates. How about you rate me first? Ten out of ten. Oh, okay, ten out of ten. I'm gonna rate. I'm just gonna drink.
So he's nice. It's, it's okay. Wait, what? What do you say? How about you rate me first? 10 out of 10. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna rate. I'm just gonna drink. Maybe he's on the 6. It's okay. Okay, so he thinks he's a 6? Oh, well, so he's really modest and humble. Dude, he even... Okay, he, sorry, I paused again. But he even puts her on a pedestal. She, he says she's a 10 out of 10. And then he says... And he brings himself down. He says he is a 6 out of 10. What a guy. Who was this? Oh, I said that out loud. Oh. Again, it's just an absolute flurry of... Wait, what was that last question? What was There was one more. Again, it's... Oh my god, it went by too fast. Bro. If it was, oh, I said that out loud. Anyways. Have y'all had a dream about each other? Okay. Weird. Again, it's just an absolute flurry of disrespect from her towards Dilly. But I wanted to show this clip here at the end because I think this is a great summation of how this whole experience okay. went. Where he rates her a 10 out of 10. And then she refuses to rate him. So he yeah. playfully is like, oh, okay, that must mean like I'm a six. And then she didn't have to say anything. She could have just moved on to the next question. But she went out of her way to let him know that no. that's not the case. So she says, if it was a six, I would have said it out loud. Uh, anyway, just trying to take another little oh step. Oh, my God. Drive the dagger deep inside of his heart here to let God. him know that he is beneath her. He that really... That really hurts. That hurts me, man, to the core. That's that's just terrible. Yeah, she could have just moved on. That's just not necessary. Okay. It's like it's like saying like he's saying, "Oh, you're a 10." And that may that must make me a 6. And then she's like, "Yeah. Yeah." <laughs> so fucking dumb. He's not a 6 to her and he needs to know it. It's so unnecessarily mean. It's just being an asshole and nothing more. She puts him down every chance she can find. She attacks every single one of his perceived weaknesses in her eyes and is doing everything in her power to publicly humiliate and yeah. degrade him. It is not friendly. There is nothing jovial about this whole stream at all. It is mean-spirited and just really fucking sad. Like I mentioned, there was a couple of times she tried to cushion the blows like, oh, we're such good friends, this is all okay. And then when one of the questions during Truth or Drink is, what was your favorite thing about Dilly? She says that he's nice and that mm -hmm. he's like just super nice and not awkward. Those are the only couple of instances where she wasn't just shitting on him. And I think she did that because she could see from the chat that people were dogpiling onto Dilly, and it is just a really uncomfortable stream in- Okay, so she could actually see, like the chat? The chat? Okay, so the chat is not being nice either, apparently. And she must have noticed that. And, <laughs> and then whatever, like, ounce, eeny, teeny weeny ounce of, like, good that's left in her, she just says, like, a few words, like, through the whole- hour and a half long stream she just says a couple words that are nice i'm like oh he's nice that's it that's fucking it are you fucking kidding me entirely how likely is it for him to pick up a girl tonight you answer this honestly? honestly you're not getting shit <laughs> i think maybe a girl be down to dance with you you know that's a win. but there's no way i don't think you're getting any girls numbers honestly you're not getting shit that's what she says or going home with you. I'm gonna say it's a zero out of ten. Well, obviously, I wouldn't bring anyone back here, but I would let you. I'm a good friend, so if you wanted to bring a girl back here, you, you can. Wow. But I'm just being honest. I don't see it. Prove me wrong, though. You don't prove me wrong. I was per perfectly content to not show you any more clips from the stream. I was just about to end the video, but then I remembered this moment, and I just had to showcase it, even if it's not directly about her. She won't even let him think he has a chance with any girl for that yeah. matter. None. Like, he's not even allowed to go into the club with a good mindset. They're they're going to a club later this evening, and they, they were getting hype for it. And like, chat was asking, hey, do you think he has a chance with a girl? And this was her response to it. He's not even allowed to have a good mentality going into it because she's already shitting on him beforehand to bring his self-esteem down. It's just 
bullying <laughs> like she is yeah. just a bully to this guy it's literally <laughs> literally just bullying for content that's all she's doing she's bullying this poor guy poor nice guy for clout on twitch and probably in youtube and this is you know unfortunately this that her stream has probably been cut up cut up a bunch and made into shorts and put all over the place tiktoks twitch and sh twitch and youtube instagram reels and just you know he's she basically made a mockery of him on fucking four platforms because <laughs> that's just man just doesn't end he's not allowed to breathe for a second a because of the allergies that he's subjected to but B, yeah because she is constantly this miasma of hate to him yes he he literally i forgot about the allergies he literally physically cannot breathe and he mentally cannot breathe because of her and her cats like he it's just so negative if this was actually any semblance of a friend she would have lifted him up like yeah you're gonna get some pussy tonight let's go you know let's have a good time out there tonight that's not what yeah she's she would have been a wingman immediately putting him down again yeah she would have been a wingman if she was a true friend not a debbie downer for the millionth time this stream who is better looking dilly or your ex my ex um next question whoa that she 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 did not hesitate at all man what a wow wow that is bad that is bad do you have do you ever have any feelings for any of your mods including him hell no that's why they're my mods last clip from okay whoa 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 she just like not only him but her other mods she basically just insulted all of them saying that oh they're just they're just scum they're just the scum of the earth that i don't you know i don't deal with they're just not worth my time is basically what she's saying like they're just they're just fucking mods they don't matter it's so ridiculous that's like that's like saying if you're at an actual company and you're the ceo say oh my employees yeah they don't matter they don't i don't give a shit about them they're just they're just grunts they just work for me they don't need to be they're not human okay they don't have any human emotions in this stream i promise but i thought this was an important one I have for a long time preached about how awful parasocial relationships are and how prevalent it is in streaming. I think hearing her say this should have snapped a ton of people out of that mentality that just by donating to somebody or modding for somebody in this case that all of a sudden they're going to somehow develop feelings for you or something. Doesn't happen. It won't happen. And that is not a healthy mindset yeah. for you as a viewer to be in. Exactly. I wanted to put this here because she just says it with her whole chest right in front of Dilly. Again, per usual here for this stream. But it is, this was actually an important lesson to learn. Just because you mod for somebody or donate to somebody, if you're a tier 3 sub to somebody, if you've been subbed to somebody for years, they are not all of a sudden your best friend and they are not obligated to fall in love with you or have feelings for you. So, tough pill to swallow for some, I'm sure, but it needs it needs to get through. Now, all that being said, what Dilly was subjected to here is nothing shy of heinous. Yeah. Nobody deserves this level of public humiliation, and I feel extremely bad for him, and I'm just genuinely wishing him the best going forward. I just had to talk about this because it is one of the downright meanest and saddest streams I've ever seen on Twitch. Like probably ever i think that is really so, yeah, fucking that's sad really about it so yeah yeah that's yeah that's really sad and i i don't i'm like speechless wait is he is he still working for her hold on i gotta look this up oh my god oh okay apparently he still works for her okay that's ridiculous uh for one i he should immediately stop working for her <laughs> and um yeah that's just man I can't believe what just what I just watched. Like I'm speechless. Like as a new Twitch streamer, I I mean this is horrible. I can't believe that this is like allowed, and it's just literally like real time bullying live stream. I just feel so bad for him. Also, I looked up an interview that actually uh, Charlie and uh, Dilly had separately. There was a video on it, and um, even during that whole interview, Dilly is basically still in denial. Like. He just, I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what's wrong, but he just keeps, he just keeps saying that, oh, no, 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 she's, we're actually good friends. We're actually okay. We're good friends. But no, dude, dude, 
that is denial dude she is not your friend you really need to stop hanging out with her and work and work for her just my opinion but please man for my sake and your sake please stop working for her yeah i mean if i if i had twitch mods or if i was a mod if i was a mod for a twitch streamer i would expect to be to have the same level of respect that i would give to that twitch streamer and vice versa and if i if i have twitch mods uh sometime in the future maybe there's no fucking way i would ever be that disgraceful and degrading and insulting to them i would treat them like my dear friends or employees and th there would be a level of respect there okay that's very it's just unacceptable what she did anyway i just thought I, I just felt like i had to watch that because you know i'm a new twitch streamer and i just wanted to i just couldn't believe the title when i saw it like and i saw the thumbnail i just couldn't believe it anyway recently there's been an uptick in crazy streamers that have just been going off the walls with pranking and all this kind of bs streaming trying to get you know views engagement for just stupid content and recently it's gotten to a point where it's getting a little bit dangerous legally and there could be extreme legal percussions and you're not going to believe what happened today after i opened up my feed and twitter feed and reddit feed it's all over the place millions of views already but it was just despicable you got to check this out so just to you know not draw unwanted engagement and clicks and views to this person i'm going to blur out their name um, next to the logos down below in the video and I'm not going to mention her at all in the articles that uh, show her name and stuff because I don't want to drag any attention whatsoever to her. Streamers dare a homeless woman to jump into a lake and then run away when she starts yelling for help. What is this? Oh of course look at that it's Kick. Why is that not surprising? I mean literally like Kick has just been crazy lately i i you know i don't know like everybody who gets banned on twitch or whatever has just goes to kick because apparently it's like you know more free over there but i don't know how like there's been some shady shit on kick recently and people just do not get banned for it and you know there's no re there seems to be no legal re repercussions whatsoever for their actions on kick i don't know what's going on over there but yeah anyway check this out man it's ridiculous i can't believe this happened right no. No. All right. I was, you know why I wasn't going to? Because my shoes, my feet were getting You should high. just jump in right now. But I'm going to jump in with my shoes on. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Oh. Wait, what the fuck? Did you see her ass? What? So first off, I mean, what? Uh, uh, she just jumps in the water and all she cares about is if they caught her ass on camera. Like, that's the big, that's the big issue here. I don't think so. Oh, you I... You said it was okay. You said you wanted to swim. You told me to jump in. I didn't tell you to jump in. Yes, yeah, you did. Yes. Just... She literally just told her to jump in like five seconds ago. What the fuck is she talking about? Like, literally. I was, you know why I wasn't going to? Because my shoes, my feet were getting You should high. just jump in right now. She just said it right there. Is this girl like, does she have like no brain cells? Thank you guys. We're gonna have you guys get off the top. Wait, who is that? What the fuck is going on? We just... I don't even. I can't swim. I can only float. Oh, she can literally die. No, she's... no, stop. Seriously, don't stop. Please, you're actually freaking me out. No, oh, please. Please, don't. No, she's floating. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. She says she's drowning. I like how she's just like, like being super dramatic about the whole thing. Like she's literally can't, she can't swim, and she's like, oh my god, oh, the, oh, 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 and like, like she's literally drowning, like off to the side, uh, you know, where the camera's not showing, and she's not doing anything about it, like fucking jump in and save her or something or get some help or something instead of just crying sitting there crying there like a little baby like what what the like what the actual fuck oh, oh this is bad <laughs> i like how the twitch chat just says like call 911 omc she's drowning killed her gg like with all the laughing emojis like what the fuck is wrong with this chat too like they're like ridiculous they're not helping at all we leave. Oh, this is uh, bad. <laughs> Dude, Natalie. Dude, I'm sorry. I didn't know. She said she's 
drowning. She said she's drowning. I think you literally just murdered the lady. No, I didn't. I swear. I think you no, I didn't. Let's go. There she's drowning in the lake. And again, like, what the fuck is she actually doing? Like, I like how she's like, oh my god, I think I actually killed her. Let's just run away and not get help at all, okay? Like, what the actual fuck is happening? What what the fuck's wrong with this person? She's ridiculous. God, there's a fire truck. Nah, this is bad. Wait, this is really bad. So as you can see, the fire truck pulled up there, and um, finally someone with some brain cells, unlike this stupid girl twitch or whatever not twitch kick streamer excuse me twitch <laughs> yeah uh actually called like 911 and helped the person which is great great to hear and fyi uh the lady was fine um she's okay so that's good but still this is ridiculous like they're just like they just ran away like there has to be like wouldn't there be some like legal like repercussions to this or there has to be or, or a kick there should be a there first of all there should be a kick ban immediately like a perma ban okay not one of those 72 hour bullshit kicks, okay? And second of all, this could be like, like attempted, it wouldn't be attempted murder, I get, I don't know, it'd be like attempted manslaughter or something like that, okay? Maybe attempted murder, but seriously, there has to be some kind of legal repercussions to this kind of stuff, you know? It's ridiculous that she cannot get away with this kind of stuff. So I actually just found a follow-up article uh, regarding the whole situation, and um, I'm just going to blur out her name here. So she responds to online backlash for not helping the woman she offered $20 to jump into the lake. So just for context, yes, she offered $20 to a, hom a homeless person to jump into a lake who cannot swim. So controversial kick streamer has ruffled a lot of feathers recently after she encouraged a woman to jump into the lake and then left the scene while she cried for help. The incident occurred on one of the, her most recent live streams and clips of her not stopping to help went viral on social media. The fact that the kick streamer didn't stop to help the woman garnered a lot of backlash. She recently defended herself in a reply on X where she where the clip has amassed millions of views. So there's millions of views on this clip so far, which is insane. So, I mean, there has to be some kind of legal reproductions. I mean, millions of people have seen this already. Somebody has to have uh, reported this to the police or something. So she says, the lady wanted to swim. They told me to leave and stop filming. That's why we left. And she got the help she needed and is fine. Stop dragging shit, Allah, whatever Allah is supposed to mean. But wh who told you to stop filming? What, what do you mean by they told you? Who told you to stop filming and who told you to leave, okay? Whoever, I, I need to know who that is, okay? Was that the police? No, probably not. It was probably your friends or something. But you can't just leave, okay? She's literally like saying like, help me, I'm drowning. You can't just leave, okay? That's ridiculous. So the controversial, uh, the controversial kick streamer tried to backtrack her early statements claiming the woman had wanted to swim. Uh, in the end, she she and the others were seen leaving the premises after being told off by by the authorities. Okay, so yeah, so she tried to backtrack and she tried to dig herself out of the huge asshole she was already in and she was digging herself deeper into. Um, but yeah, so they claimed that she wanted to swim. That wasn't the case, okay? She wanted the $20 she was going to give if she swam in the water. And then she told her to jump in. So she jumped in, but then like, oh... She probably thought like, oh, she's going to get the $20 and they're going to help her, you know, if there's a problem. But no, they just, I don't even think they gave her the $20 either. Okay. They just, they just left and just left her to die basically. So that's, that's ridiculous. And I can't believe this is happening on like a lot of streaming platform, like streamer with the streamers lately. I shouldn't say a lot of streaming platforms, but you mostly kick. Okay. Kick has been known to have, you know, terrible well, I should say very, very, um, Kick has been known to be a very controversial platform recently. So this makes a lot of sense that this person would be a Kick streamer, okay? There have also been incidents where uh, a good video was done already on it, but um, some Kick streamer tried to get on o Omi TV or Omegle and try to, you know, get under er, underage girls to, um, like, flash flash them on the on stream, live stream, without them without them knowing. And uh, that's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous that that person did not get banned at all on kick and is not facing any repercussions whatsoever. I think they got like some kind of like 72 hour kick or some uh, kick, no pun intended, uh, kick uh, from kick. Um, but it's ridiculous.
it's ridiculous what's happening recently in you know the streaming world and um you know i'm just starting out streaming and i'm trying to be very you know you know i'm trying to be a genuine like gaming streamer and just you know very down to earth kind of streaming okay just gameplay watching videos having fun with viewers you know i don't you know i i would never like succumb or stoop to these people's level okay this is ridiculous don't stoop to these kind of people's level okay anyway i just wanted to share that with you guys because i just saw it on my feed it was like a day ago and it was ridiculous and disturbing and just disgusting in general do not support this person if you find who out who they are most of you are probably aware of the recent ava chris tyson allegations and accusations that have been going on recently in the past week or so uh, but for those of you who don't know what's going on, uh, there was a there is a person named Ava Chris Tyson who originally was a male uh, Chris Tyson who transgendered into transitioned into a, a female is known as Ava Chris Tyson now and their Twitter is Ava Chris Tyson now. But basically, uh, Chris Tyson, Ava Chris Tyson is is Mr. Beast's childhood friend and been friends with them a long time and uh, they've been part of the Mr. Beast you know community and channel for quite uh, for quite a lot of years now uh, but recently uh, Ava Tyson has been accused of inappropriately messaging a minor about five or six years ago I think and uh, basically they were 20 at the time and the minor was 14 or 15 at the time is my understanding uh, which is not good at all that's I can't believe this is still happening like this is happening on a very frequent basis where uh, internet pers internet influencers and personalities and uh, celebrities, internet celebrities are getting called out for messaging minors uh, uh, very uh, a lot recently, which is very sad to be honest. And uh, the reason why I haven't made a video on this so far is because everybody has been making a video on it. Moist, critical. Um, I've seen Asmund Gold re react to this fi this drama. I've seen uh, um Umpaville make a video on it, and I've seen so many other creators make a video on it. So I just wanted to wait until I had some more clarity over the situation. Um, so I waited, and you know, there's been some developments actually in the past uh, two or yeah, one or two days. Uh, been some pretty big developments. But what I was waiting on the most was for Mr. Beast, uh, Jimmy, himself, to comment on the situation, which uh, there was finally a tweet sent out by Mr. Beast, his Twitter, uh, about a day ago, two days ago, three days ago, maybe. Um, but very, very recent, nonetheless. And I wanted to go over that today, as well as some other uh, tweets that have been sent out in, from Lava GS, Lava. Yes, uh, from Lava GS, who is the uh, minor in question here, who's actually 20 years old now. But when the instance occurred, uh, I believe they were 14 or 15. But some tweets have come out uh, today and yesterday uh, that I wanted to go over. So let's just get right into it. Let me start off by saying that what Ava Chris Tyson did is absolutely unacceptable. And there, it, by, it is by no means uh, acceptable to message a minor inappropriately and what you should do do as as a you know a person who is over the age of 18 you should just stay clear of messaging anybody under the age of 18 is probably the best uh best course of action uh if you ask me anyway so uh here's the tweet from mr beast and i just wanted to read it with you guys it just came out uh my time 20 uh july 25th 2024 at 11 28 a.m this is japan time because i'm in japan but yeah, let's let's take a look. So Mr. Beast says, over the last few days, I've become aware of the serious allegations of Ava Tyson's behavior online, and I am disgusted and opposed to such unacceptable acts. During that time, I've been focused on hiring an independent third party to conduct a thorough investigation to ensure I have all the facts. That said, I've been enough online and taken immediate action. I've seen enough on, excuse me, I've seen enough online and taken immediate action to remove Ava from the company, my channel, and any association with Mr. Beast. I do not condone or support any of the inappropriate actions. I will allow the independent investigators the necessary time to conduct a comprehensive investigation and I will take any I will take any further action based on their findings. Now, uh, I think in terms of uh, a response from Mr. Beast on this situation, I think this was probably the best response he could have given, uh, considering this 
situation. So I'm actually uh, happy that he's doing this and that he's getting a third party uh, to conduct an investigation. So basically, we don't we don't have any clear uh, confirmation on anything yet. Also, if you look at Ava Chris Tyson's Twitter, uh, they made a post uh, a day before Mr. Beast commented, which said, basically, I would like to apologize for any of my past behavior or comments if, if it hurt or offended anyone. It was not my intent. As seeing recent events, we've mutually decided it's best I permanently step away from all things Mr. Beast in social media to focus on my family and mental health. Now, this is a very stark contrast to what Mr. Beast says, actually. Uh, Ava Chris Tyson says, that we we've mutually decided it's best and uh, I need to focus on my family and mental health and he's very sorry if it hurt or offended anybody so basically he did not directly confirm that he was grooming a minor uh, at the time uh, which is not good this is not I don't believe this is a good apology uh, this is not even an apology at all to be honest because he says, like, I apologize, I apologize if my comments or my actions offended any of anybody, which doesn't seem pretty genuine to me. Also, if you look at their Twitter and you scroll down, basically it's been nuked. It's been wiped. There is nothing beyond July 24th or prior to July 24th at all. It's just blank. It's been deleted. Everything's been deleted, which is very, very suspicious if you ask me. So as I said before, there is a very stark contrast between Chris Tyson, uh, Ava Chris Tyson's tweet and Mr. Beast's tweet that came out a day later. Uh, you know, Ava Chris Tyson said that it was mutual. It was mutual. On the other hand, Mr. Beast responds with, "Over the last few days, I've become aware of the serious allegations of the behavior of Ava Tyson, and I'm disgusted and opposed to such unacceptable acts." That is a huge stark. That is a big contrast. A clear contrast of uh, the way he feels compared to Ava Chris Tyson's tweet, in my opinion, if you ask me. And not only this, Lava, the, the Lava GS, the minor in question at the time, now 20 years old, but at the time was 14 to 15, uh, commented on Mr. Beast's uh, post here. He said, I commend Mr. Beast for taking this situation seriously and hiring a third party investigator while also taking the appropriate actions of cutting ties with Ava. While the allegations involving my name aren't true, I feel there is still a lot of allegations that deserve to, in, to investigate thoroughly. So I believe there is a typo here. I think he meant to say that they deserve to be investigated thoroughly, uh, just to clear that up. So I don't, I, you know, I don't want to say, in, I, this is why I didn't want to make a video so far, but I, I just wanted to make a video because Mr. Beast sent out a tweet about it. But the reason why I didn't want to make a video because there's just not enough information in my opinion, to comment on this situ situation. But I, I'm kind of uh, pleased with the direction this is going. Uh, Mr. Beast is taking thorough action with third party investigation, and uh, I'm sure we'll see something come up in the next week or so. Uh, maybe maybe it might take a little longer, or maybe Ava Chris Tyson will actually put out an apology. I don't know, but we'll see in the coming weeks uh, from now. Now onto a little bit different subject that I wanted to touch on and uh, today in this video, but I, I can't really say much in regards to this situation because I'm just not aware of the background at all. So I'm not I'm going to try not to comment much at all on this, but I wanted to bring it to light because Lava GS posted some tweets uh, in the span of 24 hours uh, that he posted a tweet for Mr. Uh, responding to Mr. Beast uh, Twitter. But on a little bit of different subject, basically Lava just come out, came out and said, based on this recent screenshots and messages, I would like to say a statement about the Discord. So the Discord is uh, something that I'm not really familiar with, so I'm not going to comment on much. I'm just going to read the tweet here. But this was five or six years ago, and I thought I had a good memory of this situation, but I was wrong. After reading the chat logs, this stuff was inappropriate and wrong. I spoke based on my memory of the situation, and I still do not remember these conversations, but they definitely happened. These conversations should not have happened with the people at the age I was at at the time. I strongly condemn them. I still believe I am not a grooming victim, but these conversations should not have happened with me and any other minor in this discord. I was a minor in the situation and, and not the adult influencer who shouldn't have allowed this to happen. I did not see this wrong at the time. Okay, so that makes that makes a little bit more sense. Uh, now I'm glad he, you know, I, I'm glad he wrote a tweet about this. Uh, but basically, I'm not really sure what is going on in the Discord, but it seems like there's a lot more to this whole 
story, whether it be related to Ava Chris Tyson or not. Regardless, there's some uh, there's some weird things happening with this Discord and minors in the Discord and adult uh, messaging them inappropriately. And apparently the Discord has been cleansed, if I'm not mistaken. Another tweet posted by Lava said, I appreciate everyone taking this tweet as me talking about everything I have stated about Ava Tyson. It is not. Okay. So apparently this whole thing about the Discord has nothing to do with Ava Tyson, according to Lava GS. But I wanted to bring it up anyway. Uh, this only this is only about the Discord logs and the reason I spoke on my memory being bad is have I th I have a thousand of conversations in the Discord. I did not speak to Ava twenty four seven even before the Discord server. We spoke a few times a week, and that's why I'm able to remember what actually happened between me and her. I still believe the other allegations deserve to be investigated. I'm not defending the actions of Ava. He goes on to talk a little bit about the great cleansing of the Discord, which I'm not going to comment about because I have no idea what's going on. I'm just going to sound like a fucking idiot if I try to comment stuff. Uh, but basically, I just wanted to make a, I wanted to finally make a video on this whole uh, Ava Chris Tyson drama situation because Mr. Beast finally spoke out and uh, wrote a tweet. And uh, we wanted to, I wanted to go over that with you guys today. Uh, I will probably make a follow-up video um, if we see any uh, evidence come up, come to light from this third-party investigation that Mr. Beast is doing. Regardless of anything that's going on, it is completely inappropriate and unacceptable and illegal to message minors inappropriately. Bottom line, that's what it is. And besides Ava Chris Tyson, there's a whole other thing with this Discord going on where there's minors being messaged inappropriately on the server and it's being cleansed. Apparently because it's T, you know, against TOS and we 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 wanted to get a Discord partnership is what Lava GS was saying. So I you know, I'm not going to comment on, I'm just going to stop. I'm going to stop right there. I'm not going to say anything further about the Discord because I don't want to sound like an idiot. I don't want to take things out of context. Uh but yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to get you guys an update on this, and I will probably come out with another video soon when the uh, investigation results come out uh, from Mr. Beast. Hey guys, so most of you know that recently, well, in fact, yesterday, the live event of Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson just happened on Netflix, live streaming. It just happened, guys, yesterday, and I have to say that that was probably one of the worst things I've ever seen. Like, it was a complete and utter disaster. It was a complete shit show. First of all, this thing has been like advertised for what, six months or to a year now? It's actually crazy how much money was put into advertising this fight that lasted about 10 minutes or 60 minutes or whatever. I think the rounds, I think there was eight rounds that were uh, two minutes each. So yeah, you could do the math, probably about 16, 15 minutes. And um, yeah, it was just crazy. And not to mention that the whole live stream, it was uh, five or six hours. It was crazy. So. Obviously, I, I didn't watch the whole thing. I just watched the, the part where they actually fought, but it was just crazy. There was a build up to it and all like a bunch of celebrities were there too. I noticed um, Ralph Macchio and the guy, I forget his name, uh, sorry, from Karate Kid, like they're from Cobra Kai, right? The, the new series, they were there. Um, and then Shaq was there, lots of celebrities were there. So it just makes this whole thing feel like super, like, how do I say it? Like superficial. It was just like a huge cash grab, I think, for both for both teams, uh, you know, Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, but especially Jake Paul, you know, first of all, I don't I don't like I think it's quite dishonorable that Jake Paul would challenge a man who's, you know, not no longer in his prime anymore. He's 58 years old. Mike Tyson is 58 years old. OK, Jake Paul is 27. He's the same age as me. That's really crazy. Um, so that was just, I think it's kind of like a, like a dick move pretty much to try to, it's just, it's not, it's not okay. Like, dude, what are you trying to prove? Like, oh, like what is, what is going on inside his brain? Is it like, oh, I'm going to beat Mike Tyson, the greatest boxer of all time. And I, everybody's going to love me. Like he, he's just an attention seeker is what I'm, I'm getting from all this. Right. <laughs> it's just crazy, man. So basically the fight was supposed to be what eight rounds or something or and uh, I think in the first round, you know, Mike Tyson they were fighting Jake Paul. He was throwing punches, you know, he was doing pretty good, right? He's getting the knuckle sandwich. He was getting the throwing the getting them five across the lip, right? But in like the second round or third round, um, I it's it just it's it just like, you know, it just his like Mike Tyson just kind of got tired, I feel like. So it, it just was like 
I don't know, it, it just felt really unfair to be honest. You know, yeah, he's an amazing boxer, Mike Tyson. And yeah, Jake Paul it might be a, a great boxer, but I think he's more like like really good in the amateur section of boxing. So I don't know anything about boxing, so I'm just talking shit right now, pulling shit out of my booty. But, you know, I think that I think he's probably like really good in the amateur league, right? But Mike Tyson is a professional. Like he's in a professional league, so I think it's just it's just a crazy matchup first of all. Also, not to mention that I was watching uh, Ludwig's video that just came out and I learned something about boxing that I didn't know before is that uh, when you have when you hold a boxing match in every state in America, you have there has to be no more than a 10 year age gap between the opponents. So, yeah, first of all, that would that is it's completely illegal, except for Texas, apparently. Texas allows whatever age so you can just beat the fuck out of old people like what Texas what's going on man Texans please respond and explain in the comment section yes so yeah uh this fight was obviously held in Texas to avoid the rule and uh yeah it allowed Jake Paul to beat up like try to beat up an old man basically it's stupid I also think it's like it's kind of it's kind of hard to get my words out on this but I don't like how all these recently all these influencers if you want to call them that or youtubers or whatever ksi logan paul jake paul whatever have all of a sudden become like boxers why i don't know it's pr actually i do know it's for, it's for the money probably um so they just became like these boxers from from youtubers to boxers within like a couple of years like it's not it's not like a huge like time thing time skip or whatever like an like a huge anime time skip right it's just been like a couple or a few years um so like these guys become boxers and they basically take the whole like they take the whole stage from actual pro pro boxers right professional boxers that that basically don't get the spotlight anymore because of how famous these influencers are like this this fight mike tyson <clears throat> excuse me uh versus jake paul pretty much garnered like millions of it's it, millions of views it just took the spotlight away from actual you know professional fights um so i just think that like in recent years boxing has become more of like a spectacle for influencers to get you know more recognition more awareness of their brand you know product placement there was a lot of that done by jake paul with his with his product i'm not even going to say it because i don't want to promote it um but yeah so it, it's just it's become more of a, like a spectacle and a, and a place for advertisers to sell their product rather than an actual you know boxing match like a, a traditional boxing match right so i think that that's a, just a big problem that's happened in recent years with you know the boxing world because back in the day right it was like muhammad ali back in that day it was like not like as crazy as it is now with like these advertising paid sponsorships ads uh product placement whatever who knows you know just so much stuff here like i i even looking at uh i even looking at the stage right i'm looking at the stage right now and it has like products everywhere it's just crazy i mean yeah advertising has not been like it's not it's not not existed okay it's been there but like now it's got it's blown out of proportion and netflix obviously made a huge gr a amazing business decision decision but you know netflix to get a lot of money from this However, I heard that the, the actual live stream experience was shit. Like it was buffering and it was not even like good at all. Like it was total dog shit of a stream. That's what I heard. I didn't watch it. I just watched the, the highlights, right? But I heard it was terrible. So like, you know, people are paying like $13 or $15 a month for Netflix. It's ridiculous. So yeah, I think it's just a big cash grab, a big money grab for, for, for all parties that are involved including Netflix, including the opponents, including the people who hosted this. I don't even know who hosted this, ESPN or whatever. Yeah, everything's about everything's about money in the end. It's just kind of kind of a shame. Like it's not about the fight anymore. It's kind of it's just kind of sucks that it's that way. So anyway, the the whole thing was just a shit show. And finally, I wanted to show you guys this last part of the video where basically <laughs> Mike Tyson was asked if he would fight again and then Oh God, dude, the Paul brothers, man, they just give me cringe so much. Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna play it for you guys. Let's ch let's check it out. Say right now, is this possibly the last time for you? Uh, I don't think so. You've got more in you. <laughs> Who comes to mind? Well, we don't, I don't know, maybe his brother. You wanna fight Logan? 
Logan, I think he said you might be next. I kill you, Mike. No, oh, please, no, no, no. It's on then. Just don't step on his toes. It's all forgiven between you two because yesterday it got pretty personal and heated. Uh, that happens when you're in a fight. You're in the moment. Hey, that was a good slap. I like that. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, I think that it's just like. Dude, Logan Paul, why did you step in and say that? Like, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Like, that's, dude, come on, man. He's just a fucking idiot. But I actually kind of like the Paul brothers in the sense that, like, they're just so fucking stupid that it's so good content, right? It's it's good content for me. <laughs> yeah, so, and I feel like, dude, Mike Tyson just wants to go home. Like, he was just tired. He just was like, oh, what? I just want to go home. Like, that's the vibe I was getting from him. And, it, yeah, it's just, dude. I can't even I can't even anymore with the Paul brothers. They're just so stupid. Why? I don't understand. Like I've seen a lot of small including myself, small channels, small Twitch streamers, amazing content. I've watched other people that are small. Amazing content. They don't get any recognition. Only the stupid fucking idiots like these guys get recognition because people like that kind of stuff, right? People like people like stupid shit. Alright, y'all. So this is my nine million fucking attempt. And trying to create a motherfucking YouTube channel. Um, we'll see how long this fucking bullshit lasts. Probably won't last fucking long at all, to be honest. So, guys, somebody has to tell me why this man is still allowed on YouTube. If you guys don't know who this guy is, his name is EDP445. That is his YouTube channel name. And uh, for those of you guys who don't know, this man was literally... <laughs> he's been on YouTube for a very long time. And several years ago, he was outed as being a predator. He literally went to go see like, a, it was like a 12 year old girl or something. It was crazy. Like in the Predator Poachers YouTube, a YouTube channel, those guys literally caught him in the act and the famous cupcake scene as everybody knows it. Uh, basically where he was saying like, oh, I was just going to get a cupcake. Uh, well, we all know what that means. But yeah, so like they caught the guy, right? This was like in 2018 or something, okay? And then ever since then, YouTube actually did something good and banned this guy pretty much on all fronts. Like he wasn't, he they banned all his YouTube channels, right? And he wasn't allowed back on the platform. And since then, he's, you know, tried to come back on the platform uh, quite um, a lot of times too. Uh, I think it was like Twitch and TikTok as well, and not just YouTube, like a lot of platforms he tried to come back on. Uh, Instagram, I think too. But anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, so I just figured out that, I mean, this is kind of old too, right? This is like three months ago this happened. And I don't know how I didn't see this until now, but he's back. EDP445 is back on YouTube since three months ago. He came back on YouTube as Big Cheese, but actually, guys, it's insane because he had the balls, the gall, to change his channel name back to EDP445, like the one that YouTube got uh, banned him for, permanently banned him for. So that's insane, guys. And he's not only that, that he's had this channel for quite a long time now, three months, and it's already 32,400 subscribers and uh, he has 50 videos on the channel which is absolutely bonkers that he's just allowed to still be on the platform even though after he got permanently deplatformed now looking at his channel he has like several different types of videos it's not just like all crazy stuff but he does a lot of like uh you know like sp I, I haven't watched any of the videos myself but just judging by the titles and thumbnails he's done a lot of uh videos on like sports highlights and uh, things that happen after sports games and stuff is what I'm assuming from the thumbnails. But other videos that he's done is actually insane. Like, it, it's just crazy. And uh, I just wanted to go over the first video here, which is like, here we go, which was actually the first video made on his channel. So let's check it out really quick. I'll play it for you. All right, y'all. So this is my nine million fucking attempt at trying to create a motherfucking YouTube channel. Um, we'll see how long this fucking bullshit lasts. Probably won't last fucking long at all, to be honest with you. Um, you know, and I've noticed that with fucking YouTube, uh, they don't have a problem with you creating a YouTube channel. That's fucking more than perfectly fucking fine. I mean, hey, my nigga, um, the more movies you buy, the more fucking, you know, accounts that you make, the more channels that you have, the, for, um, the fucking more money that they fucking get. But it's, but it's as soon as you start making fucking videos, then that's when they want to terminate and yank your fucking shit down, so. No, EDP. Okay, that's not how YouTube works. You can't just... 
Okay, first of all, yes, you can make a channel, you can make videos, just like I do. But you can't be a fucking predator, okay? And go after, like, little m kids, minors, okay? That's just not okay. And that's what YouTube has banned you for. So, no, it's not YouTube's fault that you got banned, okay? It's your own fault. And, uh, yeah, anybody can make a channel and make videos. It's just insane that he's trying to justify his actions, basically, for getting permanently banned. He literally was caught by the... Uh, predator poachers the YouTube channel literally caught him in the act trying to meet a underage uh, minor uh, and uh, claiming that he was going to get a cupcake it's just ridiculous we'll see how long this motherfucking shit last um I'm not gonna fucking you know start coming up with like beautiful ass fucking topics and shit to talk about you know what I mean just to have my shit get yanked the fuck down so I guess you can consider this a little test fucking video to see what they'll decide to fucking do and who knows, if this shit doesn't get yanked down, probably the next video will. Or the third one, or the fourth one, or the fifth one, or the fucking sixth one, or the seventh one, or the eighth one. Who fucking knows at this goddamn point? So, um, yeah, we'll fucking see. Well, Jesus Christ. Okay, so, yeah, EDP45 has come back to YouTube with that video. It's a crazy video to start with, for sure. Blaming YouTube right off the bat for banning him. Uh, it's insane. I can't believe it. I'm in shock, basically. Even though it was three months ago, I don't know how I didn't know about this information until today. I literally just saw it on my recommended feed on YouTube. It was crazy. Dude, it's crazy that he's getting recommended to me. Like, YouTube is actually pushing this guy's videos that they banned. And I think that YouTube needs to go, like, take a look, like, needs to back up and take a look at their sheet of people they banned and really look at that stuff and go back and look at this channel because he's not named Ch Big Cheese anymore. He's named uh, Eat That Pussy, EDP445, literally without even abbreviating it. He has like a freaking, you know, cuss word in the channel name for fuck's sake. I mean, goddamn. And going back to his channel, like I said before, he has like a bunch of sports reviews and stuff. But besides that, he has some pretty, uh, pretty controversial videos like these broads be on some wild shit like he's he's basically like ranting on women uh only fans video uh really kind of i don't even want to read these out loud it's so freaking weird like he has freaking um top 300 like porn sites it's a video on the top 300 porn sites it's insane and then his latest video is actually the worst he, he made a video called my cum smells like musty bleach that is actually disgusting and i i can't believe it but i actually watched it for you guys so I would understand what the video was about. And it's so vile and abhorrent that I don't even want to show it to you guys on my channel, okay? So I'll leave it up to you guys to go check it out for yourself. But yeah, it's disgusting. Basically, it's a minute long video of him explaining his experience of him basically releasing himself into a napkin and then accidentally putting it up to his face as a Kleenex to wipe his nose or whatever and it got on his nose and he smelled it and basically he said it smelled like musty bleach and it was pretty fucking disgusting I don't want I'll save you the I'll save you the disgusting details about that you can look that up on your own time another video I wanted to just highlight here and show you guys is one that he made regarding uh YouTube and how he basically is ranting on YouTube about their policies so check this out all right, y'all, what the fuck it is, my nigga? It's your boy, Eat That Pussy 445. Coming back at you, whole ass, no life, trolling motherfuckers with yet another goddamn video, taking a shit here in the fucking porta potty, um, fucking this bitch. Okay, first of all, I, that was TMI. I did not need to know that you were taking a fucking shit in a porta potty. Okay, that's pretty fucking gross. Save the information, please. Up, you know what I mean? Laying the fucking law down, you know, all that bullshit. But, anyways, man, I just want to let you guys know, um, so my top 50, how do I word this shit, adult entertainment websites, right, got fucking taken down yesterday um, by YouTube's stupid ass algorithm and bullshit policies. Um, I had to re-upload that video um, on my fucking Instagram. So if you guys... Yeah, so that's already a freaking a red flag right there on YouTube because he literally uploaded a video like like a fucking watch Mojang video where they upload the top 10 whatever, but he made like the top top 50 uh, adult video websites uh, of a video on that, like on YouTube. Like that's not something you should post on YouTube. That's something you should probably post on the adult websites, not YouTube. Okay, so obviously, rightfully so, uh, YouTube, you know, got mad at him for that. So thank you. But dude, first of all, if YouTube is actually noticing that, why can't, why can't they just 
like what it doesn't make sense they noticed that video and they ban they took it down or they got him to take it down but they don't ban him like there's like oh oh yeah that video is kind of weird we'll just uh you know stop stop him from uploading that video and oh yeah oh he's the guy we banned i don't remember that yeah it's basically like they just forgot that they freaking perma banned him off the platform they de-platformed the guy and they just fucking forgot about it guys want to go check out that video go watch that video it's on my instagram big underscore flex four four five okay seriously like he needs <laughs> he needs to stop with the freaking the freaking uh licking the lips thing that's really fucking gross and uh really like not helping it out not helping his case out there anyway i just wanted to show you guys that but uh, it's not even like the videos itself it's actually weird that it's actually insane because like the video if you look if you go to the videos comment section people are like crazy dude they're like insane they say no fucking way bro edp is back let's go like they're fucking happy to have this guy back welcome back goat you got my support Excuse me, did we all forget that he was a predator? He was literally trying to meet up with an underage girl, like a freaking 12 year old as a predator. He's a predator, dude. Dude, I've actually noticed that uh, since recording this video, it was it's like been a span of like 10 minutes recording the video, right? And I look at the comments and I refresh the page because I wanted to uh, show you an example. Another example that I found of a comments be, like showing overwhelming support for the guy returning and like, oh, praise the Lord, EDP 445 is back and it's gone. Like somebody deleted it. He either he deleted it, YouTube deleted it or the commenter deleted it. it it's insane. Like something uh, something happened and it's crazy. I wanted to show you guys it, but it literally got deleted as soon as I was about to show you guys, which is really fucking weird coincidence. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that it's an update from EDP 445. He's back on YouTube. What the fuck YouTube? Come on. I think that YouTube, this is a, this, this is like a call out to YouTube. You need to please, you know, rethink your list or whatever you have you need to rethink the list that you have that tells you who you've banned and why you banned them you need to go through that again and then take a hard think on that